close that. Okay, that's all right. Uh, coasters, I guess. Ooh, exciting. There we go. There's the link. Here's the chat. Um, hello. How about some coasters? Who's in the mood for some Roller Coaster Tycoon? Again, like I promised you guys yesterday, and didn't actually do. Ignore the background noise. Hello. I was going to say I think I figured out the echo, but I didn't. I might have figured out part of the echo, however, that uh, you guys keep noticing. And I think that's... Well, not the stereo echo. This is a different echo. Um, when I try to capture the game audio directly, I think the issue is that I um, end up having the audio come through the computer and through the mic, and they have different bits of delay, so you get an echo. And the smart thing to do would just be to plug in a pair of headphones and just play the game like that. And that would be... A very, very easy fix. I just gotta get my radio headphones all set. Might even use these. We'll see what happens. Maybe I won't use them. I don't know. Just an idea. Um, I'm going to be busy for all this week, as I said uh, yesterday. So I'm thinking of just uh, scratching my streaming itch. And once I do that, I will um, essentially work for the rest of the week. So... I will get it all out of my system now. And this is acting up again, where the button doesn't change colors. Let's see, where is Explorer? Why do I have so many processes? Where did these come from? New task. Whoops, what did I do? I need that back. Hello. There. Um. Okay, that's all better. I'm going to be busy with college stuff. I've got exams, I've got papers, I've got a lot of coffee to drink. Already had some. Already just finished my cup, so now I'm all caffeinated. Caffeinated to make some coasters, which is not really good for anybody involved, because I'm sure coffee, or, um, coasters inspired by coffee are probably really, really unreliable. Slightly more unreliable than the ones that I normally make. Let me see, I'll plug in these headphones. Let's see how this works. I can pretend I'm doing my radio gig with these things, except I'm not. This is actually really uncomfortable, I gotta say. Um, hmm. I can't imagine having these things on for uh, like five hours at a time. Oh well, whatever. I will figure it out. If it makes the stream better, I will do it. I need to make a cafe-themed park? I could. Uh, since we're doing some Roller Coaster Tycoon tonight, we need to have a theme. For once. I, I feel like I haven't, um... I haven't been very good with that. I've just been sort of ignoring all the names and all the themes. I've just sort of been calling everything Roller Coaster 1, which isn't that interesting. I could probably live with a coffee-themed park. That would make me, uh, perfectly happy. Random background rustling. Um, math-themed park. That would be terrible. Because I'm bad at math. I'm really bad at math. Which is to say, so bad, I don't even want to have anything to do with it in my park, because if my crummy coaster design wasn't bad enough, I'm sure throwing math into the equation, which is something I'm not good at, will doom everyone. What is this? Why am I clicking this? This is that subreddit that I don't think I need. Oh god, I forgot I did that. Uh, this doesn't even... Oh, there it is. Oh, I've seen this. Yep. 
I remember that. Good old mop up marathon, I think. It's been a while. Um, gotta get another marathon set one day. Why am I still looking at that other chat? Um, anyway, yeah, coasters in a little bit. Just going to wait for the stream to be up for a couple more minutes, and then we will start some more Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, there's the Twitter link. I've got a coaster quota to meet. It's important that I make enough coasters every month, or else everything in my life goes to hell. And that would be bad. Also, I was just about to read this, but now I'm streaming, so I guess I will have to read why bilinguals are smarter tomorrow. I should probably pick up another language one day. I don't know what I would ever use it for, but... Now see, if you're... If you only speak one language, you're an idiot. If you speak two languages, you're smart. If you're trilingual, well, you kind of already missed the curve and you go back down to being dumb. So only speak two languages, because if you speak any more than that, you actually become less intelligent. That's, that's not at all what this article says. I just, just made that up. I wonder if it matters what language you learn, or if it's just being bilingual in general. You know, like if it's... If you get the same advantage from something like English-Spanish versus... I don't know, what are really unrelated languages, like English and Chinese, or something. Read it to us? Nah, you can read it yourself. It's probably not that interesting. I mean, interesting to listen to me read it silently. Send us the link. Here you go. Good old New York Times. I know my own language, which is equal parts English and uh, disgruntled grunting noises, which tend to happen whenever I crash coasters. Also, my native dialect includes many instances of ending your sentences with how's life chat or do you want to talk about your feelings? You see, that's not just the personal thing, it's part of my cultural heritage. If I'm not asking how the life in the chat is, I am uh, doing a disservice to my language. Hello, Chili Curry, and Kevin, and Pocky Crush, and I think that's everyone. Mostly. I should probably turn the game on soon. Um, thank you for tuning in for some coasters. I'm going to try to eliminate some of the echo I get with these games by using headphones. Because everyone I've seen who has a webcam on them is speaking into a headset. And I feel like that is what reduces all the echo. So if I have some headphones on, the mic won't pick up the sound and there won't be an echo. And everyone will be happy. Except for me, because my ears will probably be sore. And that's kind of bad. But, uh... Oh well, I've got two of them, so I can always just use the other. That doesn't make any sense. Never mind. Disregard the dumb things I say. I just had a really big cup of coffee, and the words are kind of flowing out a little bit too liberally, and as a result, they don't make much sense, I don't think. Does anyone else have anxiety or depression? I don't know, drink some coffee. It helps. Either that or it makes you depressed really fast. I don't know if that's better. It's probably not. If there's anything I can do to help you out, let me know. Don't want anybody to have uh, be having a crummy time if they're in the stream. Check your depression at the door. Dr. Tim is in the house. And he's prescribing coffee. Speaking of coffee, I think I might even just theme the Roller Coaster Tycoon theme park today with coffee. Just name everything after various caffeinated th 
things, which, uh, coffee. Yes. I should be a politician. If only for the fact that I really need a teleprompter. Can I give any hints to what the next marathon will be and when? What it will be? Ye no. Uh, when it will be, ideally June, July, third anniversary, we're going to launch the shiny new site with all the new content and all the new video things and um, things like, ideally, if we can get this to work, uh, fan art uploading that you guys can do that then compiles it all into a nice little gallery, uh, Minecraft server up for donors, uh, a bunch of other neat little things that we are still working on getting the bugs ironed out of. Um, yeah, eventually we will have that because I've really been neglecting the website and I feel bad about that. Because you guys put so much faith in the site and donated so much money to us and we could have totally crossed the border and ran off. Well, no, we couldn't because that's not how the donations work, but you could have assumed that, but you didn't. You had faith in us, and for that, I'm eternally grateful. So, I don't want to let you guys down. The site will come back with some new stuff. And, um, if you want shirts, we might sell those. Um, I've got an entire box of them. I'm back at home for spring break for about a week, and there's a box of shirts freshly printed up sitting in the corner of my room that, uh, want to be worn really badly. So I might sell those uh, for about 10 bucks a pop, because I think I get them printed up for like 9 80 something each. So if anybody wants them, let me know. Not right now, because I'm not in the... Well, I'm not able to sell them at the moment, but eventually we'll sell them for just about as much as I pay for them. So if you want a shirt, you can wear it. Because in this world, you cannot go out naked. And in fact, these shirts are extra large. They are so big, you could probably just forego pants and uh, still end up totally covered up. Anyway, I was supposed to be playing a game here, I think. Instead, I'm just rambling about God knows what. Stuff in my room, I suppose. I already talked about my shirts, talked about my coffee, talked about my headphones. There's a pen on my desk. It says Monmouth University Police Department. See it. Hear it, report it. Yep. It's a great pen. It's blue. Writes things. I'll start the stream in like five minutes. Start some coasters. Well, I ship internationally. Uh, ten bucks per shirt plus shipping. I don't know what the shipping is for these things. I mean, I've sent shirts to... Uh, geez. Germany, Canada, Austria. Uh, God, where else? Where else are these shirts gone? Far too many places, and I forgot how much it costs to ship them abroad. Let's see. But it's 8.49 right now. I will start the stream up in five minutes. I guess. Or maybe ten minutes if I feel like stalling and being really annoying. Do I have any shirts that fit normal human beings? Well, the thing is that I print them up in extra large because that's as big as I can get them without having to pay extra. And if I'm raffling them off, I don't really know how big you guys are, so I figure I'll just get the really big ones and hope they fit. Um, what else can I talk about? What's in my desk? Here's a marker. It's black. It says Carter's. I think I use this to sign a shirt in black. Here's a Sharpie. It is fine point. I also signed that. With, or signed a shirt with that. Here is a quarter. The date is 1997. Thank you, Washington. Here is another quarter. The date is... Not 1997. The date is 2001. Wow! It feels like you're really in my room, doesn't it? I've got a lot of crap in my desk. Here's a list of people who won t-shirts ages ago. I don't even know what marathon this is from. Uh, actually, Chili Curry, if you're still in the chat, you're on this list, so whatever marathon that was from, this is the list of shirt winners from that. Here's another list of names that I 
I'm assuming these are winners. I really have no idea. Uh, just the name, list of names of people who won stuff. Here's what trig identities I wrote up in high school, which has been sitting in my desk folded up for probably four years at this point. Great. Um, here's a container of band-aids labeled with the United Healthcare logo. Great. Best thing I have on my desk. Uh, here's a AAA battery. This thing a whiteout. A letter opener, screwdriver, pens. A special screwdriver that I had to buy to open up the Philips CDI, which broke in shipping. It is, uh... Uh... What's the name of this screw bit? I think it's a Torx screwdriver. The little star-shaped one, which you'll never use for anything, ever. I'll start the coasters in just a few minutes, guys. Just want to wait for anybody who wants to watch the stream to be able to come in and not miss it. This, uh... Thing I pulled out of my desk, I think, is a talking greeting card that used to sing You Are Awesome, except the battery has died, so it doesn't sing anything. It just makes clicking noises. So, I'll throw that out. Highlighters, those are great. Protractors, luggage tags, like three different microfiber cloths, like. How do I accumulate all this stuff? I just went to college and forgot that I was such a mess. My god. That is a sad card. It's very depressing. The moral of the story is that I am not awesome. The card cannot lie to itself anymore and uh, just died. I will start the stream up in two minutes. It's 8.53. By 8.55, we will start up coasters. I'm just passing the time. Uh, what is this? Oh, oh it's a uh, male-to-female USB cable. I don't know why I'd ever use this, but it's been sitting at my desk. It apparently wasn't that important. Oh, man. Twelve colored pencils. Another pencil. That is not colored. An eraser. A hotel key card that I must have stolen accidentally from the Holiday Inn Express. Okay. Don't tell them, that'll be my little secret. Oh! I found my pox. That was in here the entire time. Anybody have pox growing up? Those little plasticky things where you'd make a little alien robot guy and get different pieces for him and it had like little wireless thingies that you would then battle your friends with and it wasn't very fun and the screen on it was like the size of a postage stamp and none of your friends actually owned these because they all had Game Boys. That was a pox. P-O-X. They're kind of dumb. Why mine was in my desk will forever remain a mystery because... Huh. I don't even think it turns on. Battery's probably dead. Where's the on button? No, oh, it's just dead. Never mind. Here's a serial port adapter for some dumb thing. I had a Tamagotchi. It would beep at like 2 in the morning and wake my parents up. It's 8.55 apparently. Just in time to find a University of Maryland official Department of Bioengineering adhesive bandage container. Huh? Look at that, I got two of them. I can just sit here and cut myself and be totally set for medical treatment. Fantastic. I am highly prepared. Anyway, uh, that's enough of my desk. Really not that much in there. Uh, what was I going to do? Uh, coasters, yeah. Actual games. 
Uh, where would that be? Oh, computer. That's right. Actually, no, wait, it isn't. It's here. Uh, roller. Coaster Tycoon. That is the stuff. I think. Uh, no, it's in the D drive, but thanks for trying. D. Go. Ta-da! And I'll put the chat up in the side. How do you guys feel about a coffee-themed theme park? Brilliant or stupid? Or both? Both is also acceptable. And there is no sound. I should fix that. I will probably break that. Hello, game. One second. Hello. Give me one second. I need to fix something. Oh God, everything is on fire. I'm burning someone help arch set the gestures of GSD rage each DF That is the sound people make
while burn ping just hold one one more minute sorry about this minute The hell is a minute. It's nothing. It's a giant like total fabrication. Oh, I want a guy's voice. This is not me. This is not me. This is not me. I am not a girl robot. I am not a girl. Hoops. 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 There's a game here coming up in just a bit. I swear. Up. So, one more minute, everything broke. Including me, I am Robo Drunk. Let's go to the club and get so schwastad. Bro. 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 Broke, 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 broke. Hello, broke. there we go. Broke. Oh, shut up, Anna. Thank you. Anyway, there, fine. Hello. Bro. <laughs> way too loud. Hang on. There we go. There. Hello. Better? Maybe? Sorry. I'm breaking everything. I don't know how to do anything on this. Is Tim talking? Well, hopefully, yes. I turned it down. Do I need to turn it even more down? It's good now. Well, too late. It's already down more. Ha 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 ha. Found my secret. I 
them like I was in the game. God, I'm in the park. My worst nightmare. Second only to turning into Microsoft Anna. Hello, Caps Lover 88. Uh, let me just go grab my phone because I'm in the mood to senselessly delay the stream even more. And we're going to go on this scene. Which I probably won't read, because they're not that interesting. Anyway, coasters, guys. I'm thinking of making this a... Wow, it's really weird to have headphones on. It makes everything seem so much louder when I talk. No, I'll well, hear it like this. So, I'm thinking of making this a coffee-themed theme park, because... Well, coffee, I don't really need a reason, I'm just sort of... Bit of an addict. So, unless anybody has any other brilliant ideas, I'm thinking of going with that. And you know the drill, or maybe you don't because I haven't actually done this at all in terms of actually naming things. Still a bit too loud, eh? A little bit. I'm too quiet, am I? Really? How much lower can I turn that? Better? Maybe? Better? Worse? About the same? For some reason, this game is really loud in comparison to every other game I've ever streamed, at least to Justin TV. But, uh, yeah, let's name it after just coffee, cafe stuff. And maybe tea in there, whatever else is caffeine, soda, um, uh, Excedrin. Maybe. Anyway, um, yeah, Roller Coaster Tycoon, play some of that tonight. Maybe then we can switch on to all the other stereotypical things that I play, including real lives, so I can get an opportunistic infection and die, but not before having the game tell me I can't get pregnant. And also, what's that other game I was going to say I was going to play? Maybe Oregon Trail. Why not? Uh, so... Roller Coaster Tycoon. Tell your friends, let everyone know, we gotta get this theme park going. I think we're still on Corkscrew Follies. Oh man, there's a lot left. Let's see. So, it's up to you guys to pick the park. You've got Whispering Cliffs, Barony Bridge, Haunted Harbor, Gentle Glen. Uh, it was gentle until they found two human faces in his freezer. Or Butterfly Dam. Which, let's see, you've got Whispering Cliffs, Barony Bridge, which is alliteration, Haunted Harbor, which is alliteration, Gentle Glen, alliteration, or Butterfly Dam, which doesn't really fit at all with this naming convention. Chat says, Glen, Gentle Glen, Gentle Glen, Butterfly Dam, Butterfly Dam, Butterfly Dam. Fluttershy Dam is not a choice, I'm afraid. How long is this one? It doesn't tell you. That's right. Every time I tweet about playing Roller Coaster Tycoon now, I get a robot that tells me... God, what does it tell me? It says... You know what? Theme Park can be a nice place to build the family bond. Free tickets to Six Flags now. It doesn't even give me a link. Always do want to build that family bond. What's the chat say? Butterfly Dam, Butterfly Dam, Glen, Glen, Butterfly, Glen. Uh. Uh. Oh, wait. That's not even where the choice is. It's down here. Uh. Uh, your gentle clip. No. That's not. <laughs> this is what I already beat, so. Let's try that again. Uh, that one. Gentle Glen. The local population prefers Gentle and Roulette. No. We're not doing Gentle Glen. Gentle rides my butt. This is a coffee theme park. Everything's gotta be high speed and caffeinated. Butterfly Dam it is. Oh. Jeez. They're not kidding. 
you have to get at least 1,400 guests with a rating of 600 in three years. Okay, well, it's a dam. They were not making that up. It's kind of a big dam, really. Hmm. Alright, well, we're gonna name, or we're going to name everything in this park after coffee. And maybe just caffeinated junk in general. So, let's start with the name of the park itself. What do we call this thing? Entire park is water, just assume it's all coffee. How much is this free? Eh. A coffee dam, caffeine dam, Starbucks, eh. It's unoriginal. Tim's Caffeine Crash, Java Dam, Kappa Coffee, Virtual Corporation, List of Coffee Beverages, Tim's Something, Your Bladder. I kind of like that, actually. Best Dam Brew, Fair Trade Dam, Coffee of Doom, Coffee Paradise, Godot's Dam, Hot Dam Kappa. I wish I could make the face in this. I kind of like your bladder, to be honest. I'm gonna go with that. Or Monotone Tim Hortons. Ooh, that's also pretty good. Alright, if that'll fit, I'll do that. Does it fit? Yes, it does. Okay. Now it is the Monotone Tim Hortons. Open for business. Let's make a bunch of horrible coffee-themed rides. Like this exotic seafood stall, which is actually coffee. This is the first thing in the park. In fact, this is the park. You walk into the park, go all the way down this pathway, and then buy some seafood, and that's it. Then you leave. What do I call this? How do I take seafood and turn it into... coffee? Tenta coffee sounds... Ah, man, these are two foods that do not go together. Italian roast fish? What if people jump over the dam? Oh, what, you mean this guy? I... No, fall, fall off. Nope, get the... I'll show you. Oh. Okay, I guess I won't. There we go. Well, that happens to them. They kind of just die. Uh, oops. I meant to save you, but I guess I wasn't fast enough, so... Guest 3 has drowned. I only have 10 left. Oh, well. Everybody will want to come to Exotic Seafood Stall 1. Tenta Coffee, Caffeine Squid, Starfish Bucks... That's terrible. That's why I'm using it. That's... Starfish Bucks is now the... seafood stall in our wonderful coffee-themed theme park. And now we actually need some rides. What do we have? Mm, ooh, a lot of things. Let's make a steel mini roller coaster. I don't know where I'm going to put this, though. Right here. Right here. Die, trees. I've got no patience for anything that doesn't grow coffee. And up we go. So this ride can look like every other ride I've ever made in this game. Although we might be able to get this to have a really high drop if it goes over the dam. Can I go up there? No, I can't. Hmm. Eh, whatever. If this ride doesn't result in people dying, I'm not doing my job. Okay, and down it goes. I don't even know where this is. Can I turn it? No, I can't. Jeez. I... Oh, it's going to go off the edge. All right, that's not good. Uh, can't have that yet. Can I go this way? No, I can't. G 
jeez. I've been playing this level for about two minutes and I've already built myself into a corner. Can I turn this way? No, I can't. Why can't I turn there? What has happened to this park? How? What? Oh! Oh! Jeez, where did... Okay. Well, I can't build the ride underwater, so... Uh... I can't build it there. It'll crash into people. I don't think they'd appreciate that. Hmm. Well, I'm stuck. Already. That was fast, even for me. Hmm, can't go that way. Uh, can I go this way? Maybe. No, no, I can't. Can I, no, can I, no, nah, maybe, no. Nope, nope, nope. Can't do any of this. There, fine, good. And then... Turn and plummet. That's not terrifying. Let's build this underwater. Or not. It doesn't let me do that. Let's build this above water. No, no I can't do that either. Uh, hmm. I bet I'm going to spend all my money on this and no one's going to ride it. That's a metaphor for life. Alright, good. And turn, turn, and go. Oh man, my mouse keeps skipping around. I need a mouse pad. Mouse does not work on this desk. Now that I'm back home can't build this underwater, then why do I have a dam if I can't build stuff under it? Where do I even... anything? Um... Here's a bad idea for a ride. It goes down, and get this, it goes up. No, it doesn't go up, it gets stuck. Um... Never mind. It goes down... And it goes, uh, no. No, it doesn't. It goes down. Then it goes up. Yes, there we go. And I'm already broke. That was fast. How goes it? I'm alright. I've had my coffee. That's all that matters. Have to get that to a height of 25 before I can finish it. So, off we go. I'm hoping it can make it back up there, because I sort of doubt that. That would be bad if it didn't. All of my money would be, uh... wasted. In fact, I've probably already wasted it now. And let's put a chain on this. Or not! Let's just crash it into the pre-existing coaster. Hmm. This is why I'm not an engineering major. Call it the caffeine crash. I love it. Let's do it. Uh, let me see. Can I go this way? No, I can't. That tree's in the way. Why tree? I thought we were friends. Have I played the other Roller Coaster Tycoon games? I played two, and I found it to be kind of... weird, because it had a lot of random, arbitrary goals. They were kind of annoying, and I never played three. And the ride is done. Put some finishing touches onto it, which includes saving, first of all. Butterfly Dam. Uh, all the same color. That color would be brown, of course. It is coffee. Gotta make this ride look like something that I would drink. My standards aren't that high, but still. Alright. I think those are three different shades. And what do you guys think? Think it'll work or think it will... Why am I saving again? Think it'll work or think it will just blow up and kill everyone. Let's find out. Ladybird, log, rocket, or spinning. Eh, I will go with ladybird because maybe they could pass for coffee beans. 
Entrance, exit, test, and... Oh! Wait, what? Track is not a complete circuit. Oh. Hmm. Well, that's a problem. Thanks, game. Why do you let me build things that don't work? There, fine, whatever. No banks on that. Deal with it! And off it goes! Let's see... Actually, I have my headphones on now so I can hear this. Uh, this is the first roller coaster tycoon. With my first roller coaster in our coffee-themed park, which will probably kill everybody. And if all goes well, we are going to call it the Caffeine Crash. As I read my Twitter updates, there aren't any Twitter updates. Well, it's going. I... This looks terrible. But it worked, so... Alrighty. Okay, well. I mean, to probably come off this thing and immediately vomit, but... You know. It's brown. It's like coffee. What else could you possibly want? Gotta bank that five mile per hour turn just to make sure it's not too intense. You know, I was actually going through my room now that I'm back from spring break, and I found the box. The original box for this game. Just sitting in my closet. I don't know why I felt like sharing that, but... That, that's about it. There's, there's no more to that story. I, the end. High, high, and high. That is what coffee does to you. Perfect. There are now 21 guests in my park, which I guess are only patronizing the seafood stall at the end. So, whatever. Uh, do, do connect that. And an exit. There we go. And down, down, down. No down. Yes, down. There we go. And we are going to call it the Caffeine Crash. Okay. How much is this? Six bucks. Do, 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 do. I wish it let me type in numbers, but it doesn't. And it's open for business for any unsuspecting park guests. Just watch it blow up immediately. Oh man, if you think the Roller Coaster Tycoon manual is hefty. I think in my desk somewhere I have the SimCity 3000 manual. And that is a monster. I can't seem to find it. Um, it's, it's hundreds of pages. I don't know where it is, but... Something I did find in my desk, however, are my elementary school era writing notebooks, which I think I already read on a broadcast once. And they're kind of horribly embarrassing, so I think all the good stuff was already taken out of these. Looking through these, I'm glad to see that my handwriting is just as terrible as it was in 2006. Uh, I don't even know what grade this was. Uh, eighth grade, maybe? 2006? That'd be eighth grade. I was like... 13? This is 6th grade. Which is terrible. My handwriting is disgusting. Everything in these notebooks is disgusting. It's amazing that the same person... Whoops, am I hitting the mic with that? Sorry about that. It's amazing that the same person who wrote all this crap in 2003 is now in college. Anyway, there's our coffee ride. 
What do people think about it? Caffeine crash looks too intense for me, says guest 73. Yeah, well, now you're drowning, so... Shows how much you know. What else do we need? What do we need? What does a park need? Merry-go-round? Yes, of course. Uh, is that a good height? No, it's too high. Let's bring that down. There we go. And open this up. And we need a coffee-themed name for this merry-go-round. So, what do you guys think? It's gotta be called something. Why would anybody build a dam around a theme park? Well, we built the theme park around the dam. Also, this seems like it's not very structurally safe. At all. I wonder if I can build a ride that goes... through the dam. Hmm. Coffee grinder, frappuccino, the jitter horse, the latte lounge, the coffee grinder, the Al Pacino? I kind of like the coffee grinder. The coffee gridner. No, grinder. Okay. One dollar, that'll be enough. And now I gotta build more stuff. Hmm. Hello, duck. Uh, what else do I make? Hmm. A train. I don't really need one, but... Who cares? Let's make one anyway. Just make a train that doesn't really go anywhere. If you've watched any other of my streams, you'll know trains and I don't have very good history. We're working through it, though. And where am I going to take this train? This is kind of a really dumb place to put a train. This is kind of a really dumb place to put anything. Oh well. It's an underground train, which makes it awesome. Also, this train's probably going to go really, really fast, because I've now hit the bottom of the map. Raise or lower land first. Wha oh, wait, no, I didn't hit the bottom of the map. I'm only at five. Let's go back up. And make this a wider turn. In that direction. And now we can go down. Too low. What is it describing my sanity? Uh, and up. Raise or lower land first. Eh. Bite me, I'm a professional. Raise or lower. Okay. Oh, wait. You know, why don't I just do the smart thing? And then do the... Nope. Do this? Yes, that's what I want. Build it out of the hill so I don't have to raise the land so many times. And can I turn that that way? I can, just have to get rid of that tree. Um, okay, what I want to do is build a station platform. Let me kill some of these trees. What has nature ever done for me? Alright. Can I bring it that way? No, I can't. Um... There we go. Turn that around. Don't go that way. That's not good for anybody. Straight, straight. Kill some trees. Kill some more trees. All those countless childhood hours watching Captain Planet obviously did not leave an impression on me. I am an eco-terrorist. Uh, turn? Turn. 
Where am I taking this? What am I... Where am I trying to go with this train? Apparently not that way. That's not good for anyone. There's a train in my way. Where did that come from? Oh wait, there's a chat there. I kind of forgot. Sorry guys, let me finish this train and I will read the chat in just a moment. There we go. Footpath in the way, eh. Not anymore. Now no one gets into the park. That was not a dumb move at all, I swear. Um. Oh. I increased the height of the land so the game could tell me I can't actually build there. Thank you, game. Okay, now ideally I can go between the two rides. Realistically, I can't, because this is planned out really, really badly. Uh, where am I trying to go? I need to go over the train. But not into the coaster. It's going into the coaster. Great. Um, flat, flat, straight, straight, straight. Over, over, over. Damn it. Straight down? Down? No. Come on, guys. Don't walk in the construction zone. Down, down, flat. Great. Here's a giant detour that covers one block of space. I planned that out exceptionally well, I would say. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. No. Oh, you're kidding. It only works on continuous circuit mode. <sighs> you know what that means? I made this train with the assumption that I could have one station here and one station here and not connect the ends. That is not the case. What this means is that I need to connect them somehow, with the little bit of money I have left. Oh, damn it. Uh, crap. What do I do now? What is... Alright, I'll just delete this entire part, so... So now... <sighs> Now this doesn't make any sense. Now I have this giant detour where there could just be a... Alright. Just forget it. Everything's fine. Nothing is wrong. And I planned this from the beginning. Everything is fine. Yup. Oh, god. Bite me, train. What did I do? What is your deal? I just wanted you to like me. Alright, so this train has to go down. Uh, down, 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 down. Nope. It's a tree. Down, 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 down. Nope. Hits... God knows what. Too high for supports. Uh, oh crap! That's a that was a there's a coaster in the way, so I can't increase the land. So so this is is screwed essentially. I what did I do? How did I foul this up so badly? My God. Okay, now these need to connect. Right there. Connect. Thank you. 
My brony. Uh, no, I'm not. Okay, there. There's my train, which, which makes no sense at all. Fantastic. Entrance not built. Well, entrance, exit. Oh wait, why does it? Oh wait, that's right. It doesn't have another platform over there. It's just one. Oh god. <laughs> it's kind of fast for a train in this game. I come off as a brony. Why? Oh god, look at this. Two miles an hour. Oh Jesus, the train just crashed into each other. Why? Did... Okay. That's not very safe. This, this train is just ramming the other one. That's... That's my ride. So, what do I call this? After I make it brown. Because coffee. Eh, how about brown with a... Uh, shade of brown. I like it. The All Nighter Express. The I'm going to save the game before I forget. That's a good name. The Brownie Loca Mocha. Oh, God. <laughs> I like it. Loca Mocha. Or the Mocha Loca. Mocha Motive? Mocha Motive? Eh, whatever. I'm not charging a buck for this. This costs me. So much money! So much money to build this train that I bet you nobody will ride. Even though it hits speeds of up to 29 miles an hour. Alright, that's one barista. Barista. However you pronounce that, I don't know. Not exciting enough. I'm sorry, I'm just not an interesting guy. Why can't I please you, Shafi9x? Just wanted you to love me. Oh man, it's still going! This is 1,400 guests. I have 150. That's not very good. Uh... What does this park need? What do people think? Coffee grinder's really good value, haha. <laughs> I've already got a tentacle. <laughs> I'm not hungry. I want to go home. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm so happy to go home. Uh, I feel sick. Yeah, coffee does that too. Can I run an ad? Yeah, maybe. Well, I think it's time for some propaganda. Ad campaign for the park, please. Three weeks. Ad campaign for, uh... The caffeine crash. For... Can I afford three weeks? I cannot. Two weeks it is. Oh, wait. I didn't open that. Oh, wait. I didn't even give it a platform yet. I'm losing money on this. There. Tree fitty on the locomoca. And we'll put the entrance right around. Well, not here because I don't have any money left. But if there were going to be an entrance, I would put it right there. Oh, thanks. Can't build that there. Can't build that there. Fantastic. Great business decisions being made on stream, as always. I have no money. Which means I have to get rid of the detour here. Except I can't get rid of the detour because there, there, there are people on the detour. And if I were to get rid of the detour with them on it, they would all plummet to their deaths, which is not good for PR. I'm 
me see. Let's go to the pieces nobody's actually on. Oops. Here you go, guess 58. And you, Mr. Pink Shirt. There. Now we have money. And can I bring that up? No. Oh, go up. Up, up. Oh, it's so close. All right. No, goddamn. Okay, well, I need to connect this to that somewhere. I could probably make some no entries, or I can just wait until everyone's off and now delete it all. Great. Day has been saved. Thanks to coffee. And up, and flat, and up, and up. Okay, now the locomoca is open, except for the fact that there's no exit. Uh, I don't have enough money to make an exit. The best I've got is kind of like this holding tank, which is a 1x2 set of platforms that prevents people from going anywhere. Great. Um, yeah, let's go up. And then up again, and then go flat. No. Well, we would go flat. I ran out of money. be cheaper to go the uphill tree in the well bite me nature 52 bucks versus 62 godspeed train don't go to that link it's gay porn well i just banned that guy so yay there's no point in giving Davy the One a timeout. Davy G the One has already been permanently banned. Oh, well, that's good. Not to get all Rick Santorum on you guys, but uh, don't post porn in the chat. Gay, straight, or otherwise. Must finish dumb train uh, I've got no money it wasn't porn well I I banned him anyway um just just follow the party line it was porn don't question it There is no police brutality happening here. Respect your friendly government. I'll get rid of these pathways. Might actually make some money on them. There we go. Wow, that went far. Why don't I put a restriction to automatically ban the phrase tiny URL? That would be the smart thing to do. However, I am not a very clever man. So, oh, money, nice. Well, now I'm broke again. Video games 101. What's on Twitter? I already checked, nothing. Well, what is up in the chat? In fact, I will let you mull over that for just a minute. I'm running out of money. So let me save the game, and I'm going to go use the bathroom, and I'll be back in just one minute. As I go do that, I will let the park go and generate me some money. So hopefully by the time I come back, I can finish all... Uh, I will finish all of this, and go on with the park. Don't go away, I will be right back, and uh, thanks for watching. More Roller Coaster Tycoon in just one minute.
Okay, hello. Again. Do I have enough money? Yes, I do. Nice. Okay. Uh, finally finish that. All these trapped people can go and uh, finally reunite with their families. Anyway, hello guys. Thank you for uh, waiting. Now we've got more coasters and a bunch of full queue lines, which is good for me, although I need a lot more guests in this park. Hmm. How do you get rid of these ads? Uh, I, I would say ad block. I don't want to? Because that's how sites like Justin TV and Twitch TV and everything survive, but I mean, if you can't watch the stream, I would rather have you watch the stream than give me a couple fractions of a cent of ad revenue. But uh, refresh the stream if you're having issues with it. Might come back. Let's see. Oh, wait, information stand. Where did this come from? Think of all the $20 umbrellas I can hawk. Alright guys, what do we call this information stand? Keep in mind, the theme of the park is coffee. It's kind of handy. Name it after information stands, name it after umbrellas. Whatever works. $20? Same throughout the park, please. Brewman, George Harrison's left testicle, a classic. The menu of the refill, Mr. Coffee. Speaking of Mr. Coffee, anybody have any of those coffee makers that um, you load the beans into and they grind the beans and brew the coffee all in one unit? Are they any good? Or should you just stick with a dedicated grinder and uh, percolator? or drip machine, or whatever you use. Let's see, anyway, the daily special, $20 coffee, boner, Folgers in your cup, Tim Hortons, Caffeine, what? Coffee information, what is this? I can't even read that. Caffeine formation, no, oh, whatever. There, eh. Well, Better drink your Ovaltine? That's not coffee. The Info Latte? I feel like there's a pun in there, but I'm not coming up with what it is, so... Hmm. What do I call this thing, guys? Gotta come up with a name for this information stand. Better latte than never. Ugh, oh, that's... <laughs> that pun physically hurt me. Herman Cain's info kiosk. A latte umbrellas. Oh, man. Alright, I'll do it. Ugh, oh, man. That is... That's a name, I guess. Gotta make sure the umbrellas are brown. Alright. We don't serve boys, but I'm a boy. Gotta get my coffee. Alright, well that's made. And we need a load more guests in this park, so what do people come to theme parks for? Well, novelty hats. Of course. Novelty hats that are brown. Because coffee. What do we call the novelty hat shop? I'm not a boy, I'm a man, don't call me that. Make me feel all old. I turned 20 last year, I turned 21 at the end of this year. Oh man, I can't believe it. How did I get so old? 
Cappuccino. Oh. <laughs> These puns, man. Foam on top. Head case. Beanies. God, Cappuccino is... Oh, God. <laughs> it's so lame. But I don't think you can top it. Let's see, let's sell some hats, let's sell some balloons. Let's have a theme park that's all about nickel and diming people without actually having rides. And the balloons will be brown. That's my favorite color. What do we call these balloon stands? What do we call it, guys? Mean beans. Hmm. Is that it? Just, just mean beans? The high? Uh, I use XSplit, which is essentially the program that everyone uses to stream now. Uh, ideally, I would be hooked up via Ethernet, but I'm on Wi-Fi because I'm too lazy to hook up my wired internet. Caffeine high. Balloons. Inflatable wacky worm. Zero gravity coffee blobs. Hmm. No, I'll name it Caffeine High. Why not? Fun fact in this game, if people have balloons, you can pick them up and drown them, and then they drop balloons. And now you can pop it and make him buy a new one. Which is what you do if you're a horrible, horrible person. Like myself. Times are tight, man. Gotta get all the money I possibly can. Oh man, for a coffee theme park, how can I forget the bathroom? It's the most important thing. Bathroom. Ten cents. Open. And what do we call the bathroom? Empty your bladder. Non-dairy cre- Ew. Am I on spring break? Uh, yeah. For now. Go back to college in a week. Coffee drain. The refill station. The lounge. Spent beans. Oh yeah, that's a horrible bathroom location. Oh, roller coaster train. Non-looping. What is a roller coaster train? Is that just the... I really hope that's what I think it is. Oh, it's part of this one. Okay, never mind. Am I winning? Uh, no, actually. I need 1,100 more guests in two more years. Not very good. The percolator. The cup runneth over. Coffee grounds. Hmm. Recycled caffeine. I don't know. Diuretic dreams. <laughs> I think you meant uh, to say diuretic. D I. How do you spell diuretic? Google this. D I R U. Oh, exactly how it sounds. D I R U E T I C dreams. Because it makes you pee. I love it. Diuretic dreams, it is. And I've got money, and no guests, so let's have an ad campaign for the park, and an ad campaign for Locomoco, and see if that brings in the people I need.
please ride my train. It goes underground. That makes it cool. What is the theme? The theme is coffee. Tell your friends. Not even an hour into this yet. Can I have ads for the toilet? I'm afraid I can't. If I could, you know I would. I would just make a theme park full of only toilets. In fact, that's a terrible idea. I wonder... Can you do that? How far in this game can you get if you only build toilets? You know, after this scenario ends, we're going to try that. I'm going to find a one-year scenario. I'm going to do the very first scenario and see if I can beat it only using toilets. That sounds like... Sounds like an important thing we need to test. How about a spiral slide? It needs to be brown. Because coffee. Where can I put this? Oh. That didn't work out. Yeah. Yeah, close enough. Whatever. Entrance. Exit. Entrance. Down. Flat. Exit. Down. Flat. Flat. Tree. Flat. Oh. Now I'm broke. How come the merry-go-round isn't brown? That's a great question. Answer is that I forgot. Now it's brown. What do I call this? What do I call the slide? Your bladder. Hmm. Mary go brown. That's the coffee grinder. Hmm. The urinary tract. It's it's supposed to be mostly about coffee, less about peeing. Just keep that in mind. Max people on ride. Living on the edge. Let's make it five. Hmm. The mudslide. Your normal brew. Is that porn? It better not be porn. Or I will have to ban you. No hard feelings. I can't even get in the chat. I don't want to click it. Oh, wait. I just went to Justin TV on my phone. I have a message. Oh, that's the guy that I banned. <laughs> Whoops. Can you please unban me? I posted a link to a picture and some other person in the chat was joking and said it was porn and it wasn't. Oh, sorry about that. Um. Anyway, we still need to name this. The Columbian Coaster. The McDonald's Incident. Oh, I need a mechanic. The bean picker. Every time I get a tiny URL link, though, they always end up being porn. The big drip, I like it. Let me go and just unban that guy quickly. Uh, no, Twitch, no, Justin. Don't load up a live stream or else it will crash my computer. Uh, channel, I think. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, chat. And the guy that I just banned. Oh, the type unban. Alrighty. Unban. Davy. T A V E Y G, the one. Did that work? I have unbanned him. Okay, cool. Sorry about that. And back to the game. 
where people will ideally not get banned unintentionally or uh, mistakenly. This is sort of intentional, but... Also, my chair is really loud. A tragic misunderstanding. Indeed. Anyway, how's the park doing? I've got money. I've got a few more guests. I really don't have enough. How about a Woe Belly? Those are my favorite rides. Actually, I don't even know what these are. I think they just go up and down. They're kind of dumb and silly. Let's put one... Over here? No, there's a tree in the way. There. Do, 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 I don't know where this is going. It's apparently too high. Entrance exit. Upward launch mode. Sure. Woe belly car. Yeah, I, I guess. I don't know what else you would use on this. Let's make it brown. And test it. That's really disappointing. Oh, wait. Is it going up more? No, it's just... Oh, oh, I forgot the speed. I think 90 might be too much. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe just a bit. It disappeared into thin air. Only to blow up. Whoops. That never happened. Anyway. Alright, great. What do we call this, guys? It works now. Didn't kill anybody important. Gotta kill this tree off, though. Whoops, go down. There we go. I think the entrance is going to... Or the exit is going to work. Caffeine high. I think we already have... We have the caffeine crash. We have... Caffeine high as the balloon stand, so... Can't have two caffeine highs. That's not good for anybody. Down, 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 flat. Oh. That didn't work. There we go. The potent percolator. I like it. I just call it the percolator, honestly. That'll work. Two bucks, sure. It's a good deal. I mean, you might die on it, but you'll have fun. And that's all that matters. Will I continue with Banjo tonight? The answer's probably no. I'm banjoed out for the time being. And according to XSplit, there are 305 people watching. Because everyone loves their roller coaster tycoon. Did I spell percolator wrong? I didn't think there was a U in it, but. Percolator, not perk U later. Uh, water slide I can make. Probably not end well. I don't have enough money for one. Also, I need to come up magically with 1,100 guests by... Well... Two years, which isn't that much time. Kind of bad. Haunted house? Scariest thing this could possibly have is a world without coffee. No, I can't pop that balloon with the haunted house. Haunted house will be called decaf. <sighs> Plain style. Yeah, I want this to have classical Roman style, of course. That's what I think when I think haunted houses. Does anybody in the chat actually drink decaf coffee? Because from the few times I've had the misfortune to drink it, it was disgusting. 
and all bitter and not at all enjoyable. Oh, the coffee grinder broke. Only option is decaf! Dun dun dun. Considering how much I do drink coffee, I still cannot drink it black. It just... I don't know, it needs a little bit of milk in it. Just a bit. But... Just, just can't do straight up black coffee. Why am I playing such an old version of Roller Coaster Tycoon? Because it's the best version. It's the only version to play. Alright, that's going, that's going. Hey, and uh, thanks for watching, by the way, guys. Glad you like your horrible coasters and coffee puns. Now, I gotta build more stuff, but I don't have that much money left. Um, what do people want? This park is really clean and tidy. Oh. Okay. Oh, jeez. I'm thirsty! I am on it, Captain. A drink stall. Well, it's gotta be a coffee bar, of course. What else could that conceivably be? Hmm. Well, park is going. I wanna make more things, but I don't have any money. How about... how about a car ride? Those are always fun. Which is another way of saying quite possibly the most boring things you could ever make in this game. Oh, wait, why is it Roman-themed? Also, I hope people buy my $20 umbrellas, because I really need the money. How will that we name something after Ubisoft's Mr. Caffeine? Oh, man. Totally forgot about Mr. Caffeine. There's doodly doodly doos everywhere. What did Ubisoft even present at that E3? I don't remember anything about their products, just Mr. Caffeine. And how painfully awkward that was. That, that's honestly all I remember about E3. Just Mr. Caffeine and... something about the Wii U, but mostly Mr. Caffeine. I think I would buy anything Mr. Caffeine endorsed, however. Seems like a guy I can trust. Raise or lower land first. This is a terrible car ride goes down, and eventually it goes up. The end. Call this ride the Coffee Run. Maybe. If I can find a way to not crash it into another ride. Uh, which is proving to be kind of difficult. Uh, crashing it everywhere, left and right. So, chat, what is up in this wide world of the internet? Anything interesting happening to any of you? Uh, can I make that turn? No, I can't. I gotta go up, and then turn, and then turn, and then up. Great. You just have the path go right in the middle of the track. Or the, um, support, I mean. You know, that... that's safe. Uh, this has to connect over there, doesn't it? That's a height of 25. I'm currently at 18 and crashing into walls already. You're watching me stream, you're bored on spring break. Apparently that Amazon link to Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 was actually porn. 
Go figure. Hmm. Can I go up to 19? So I can clear this coaster? Uh, hey. Not quite. There we go. Nope. Oh, wait, that's the railroad. That's not a coaster. Too high for supports. Well, you know... I'm sorry, I'm trying. Oh, now I'm broke. Um... Do you only stream Roller Coaster Tycoon? No, I stream a lot of other random junk. I just stream this because everyone likes it. Except for the people who are horribly bored of it and curse my name aloud every time I play. Just a, uh... I don't know, it's a fun game to play, I guess. Especially when I actually name things. Which hasn't happened much recently, so I gotta get back into the swing of things with that. Is that a tree? No, it isn't. Where am I trying to take this? Turn up. And crash into a hill. Turn up. Crash into a platform? Oh. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Uh, nope. That does not work. I have crashed my car into a train. Which is apparently not a winning combination. For either party. I don't need a subreddit, guys. I really don't. I'm not interesting or important enough to have a subreddit. Please do not spam the subreddit because there's nothing there, because I don't do anything with it and I don't need one. Not enough cash. Eh. I will get there eventually. Just watch the stream and I'm happy. Maybe follow if you want. Maybe check out my dumb Twitter account where I talk about pointless things. And go on. Angsty rants. Hasn't been one of those recently though, so... Don't have to worry about that, I think. For the time being. Gotta finish this dumb car ride. I don't even know why I'm throwing so much money at it, because no one's gonna ride it. Do I have a sexual fetish? Yeah, I've got a thing for coasters. Uh, nope. Still can't get that to go. I gotta get a thousand more guests in under two years. How am I gonna pull that off? I haven't failed a scenario since I started streaming this. I don't want to fail this one. The safest park in the country. Oh, how little they know. Maybe I should advertise. How do I advertise? I don't know. If people want to see coasters, come on down. If not, well... If there's a billion other sites on the internet you could probably spend your time on. That have fewer coasters than this. What does monotone stand for? Me. I am monotone. Uh, can I build this? No, I can't. There, great. Cut in through the hill. Go. Raise or lower land. I will raise it. My rides are too complicated. Yeah, well... Your face is too... You know what? Shut up. Honestly, that's how all my rides are. They're all just things that go up and down, and then they turn around occasionally, and then they crash. In that order. Ideally in that order. Hopefully they crash afterwards. 
not before they're done. That would be kind of a bit of a bummer. Please get out of underground. I'm so close. You're new to my channel. Well, welcome aboard. Thanks for watching. Make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. And I'm almost done. Just need to connect these. I got a flying roller coaster. That sounds horrible. It looks exactly like the corkscrew one. Like the tracks are almost the same. Except this one costs 39, and this one costs 40. Huh. I wonder what the difference is. I don't have enough money, so I don't think we're going to find out, but... Also, I can make the station platform underground, can't I? Great. That's done. Let's make this brown. Brown and, uh... Brown. Make the cars brown. And call it, uh... The Coffee Run. And go. Oh, wait. There's no path on the entrance. That's a bit of an oversight. Can I get this to connect? No. However, I don't need to. I can just build a pathway right there, and people will fall out of the exit onto the path. And there is garbage everywhere. Probably because I don't have garbage cans. And now we do. Still need to get a lot more people in this park, though. Why am I streaming? I don't know! Because I'm gonna be really busy this week. With a lot of schoolwork, and I figure... If I'm gonna be productive, I might as well get out all the urge to stream now. <sighs> Guests are complaining about the disgusting state of footpaths in your park. Well, you know what? Let's see... I already have a guy called the Barista. What do I call this other handyman? He needs a name. What's another coffee e name? Also, I gotta put you here. Just barf to clean. Java Jeff. Joe. Alright. Joe. GPE. That or JPE, even. Jip. I mean, Joe. There we go. Do not have hedge mazes yet. George Coffeeson. You know, just throw coffee into a name. As long as it's a last name, it's okay. Clean better, Joe. Killing me here. Name him the man with no name. Did this ever finish? No, this is this is not done with a single circuit yet. Wow, that's a long ride. How old am I? I am twenty. Even though I sound really old. Or so I've been told. Oh yeah, that's actually in the info box. If you scroll down. I made that in Microsoft Paint. Because I don't have any talent, so... Microsoft Paint it is. Am I old enough to get drunk on St. Patty's Day? I am not. Only in Canada, and every other country that isn't America. Hmm. I need more guests. Why can't I get more people? 
Ad campaign for the park. Ad campaign for the percolator. Come on, people. Come into Monotone Tim Hortons. You're killing me. I need your money. Pay them to go to your park. I wish. Advertising campaign for free money. Just call it a day. Come to the park. We will pay you. Then drown you accidentally. Well, we'll make it look like an accident anyway. But we all know the truth. If you've ever seen any of these streams before. Like this guy. I don't like him. Now he's drowning. I popped his balloon. But he's totally fine with that, so... Alright. Thanks for being a good sport, Guest 38. Hmm. <laughs> I have 85 bucks. What does that get me? Answer? Nothing. At all. Not a single thing. I think the cheapest thing you can buy is a bathroom. Why am I tossing people into a lake? Because I'm kind of a nut. If you haven't noticed. Space rings? Sure. Why not? Everyone loves space rings. Cannot build in the middle of a lake. Requires common sense. Caffeine crash broke. Eh. That's why it's called the caffeine crash. There's a coaster in the way there. Huh. Must build thing. Great. I just spent all my money on a bunch of oversized hula hoops. That are set to space ring mode. As opposed to haunted house mode. Maybe it could be set to powered launch mode. That would be interesting. And yes, the theme of the park is coffee. Welcome to Monotone Tim Hortons. Where everything is brown and tastes like coffee. Hmm. I can't click the links in the chat at the moment, guys. Okay, fine. Maybe I'll make an exception for this one. Yep. Now nope, you found my deep, dark secret. And... Oh, great. Too many coasters. Um... Where do I put this guy now? Where do I connect you? Not there, apparently. How do I think I'm going to get enough guests? Um... I'm planning to curl up in the fetal position and cry in a corner until people feel bad enough for me and come into my park. That's... that's the plan at the moment. There we go. And what do we call this? What do we call these space rings? Just be unoriginal and call them coffee rings. <laughs> because, because coffee strung out. Caffeine Run does not have an exit. Actually, people just sort of fall onto the exit platform because I couldn't figure out how to connect it. Oh, uh, the coffee grinder is already a ride. That's the merry-go-round. Donuts. Oh, the percolator ad campaign ended. Hmm. What do we call this? Hmm. Donuts. 
not space coffee. <laughs> coffee filter. The coffee rush. Don't skip class, Sam Jazza, that's bad. Don't s skip it because of my stream, anyway. It seems like... not the best idea. I promise you I'm really not that interesting. Uh... Reeser Coaster Tycoon? No, thanks. The Expressor, the Rusty Sheriff's Badge. Coffee stains? Eh, whatever. Coffee-stained things, I don't know. No. Condiments. Perfect, whatever. You can see the juxtaposition of the coffee name and the lack of sanity contributes to the increasing metaphor of the duality of man, and... Oh. Now I'm not very good at being deep and philosophical. I'm just good at making bad coasters. People are in line for this, though. Because it's 50 cents. Now it's a dollar. Well, people are coming in. Have a little bit of money. That's good. Uh, forgot how to rotate the map for a minute. Oh man, there's barf everywhere. Jeez. What's wrong with you people? I invite you into my sacred home and you just come in and barf all over it. Also, this one car ride is three and a half minutes long. And the caffeine crash broke. Alright, no big deal. Well, I am getting guests, which is... an improvement. I wasn't getting many before. Hmm. What else can I build? Gravitron! Sounds... I don't even know. Sounds like a giant evil robot in space. Which means it's exactly what my park needs. I need more bathrooms. Nah, we're good. That's what the dam over here is for. No one will judge you, I swear. And that'll connect. Gravitron 1! In berserk mode, of course. Like there was any choice. That sounds horrible. And I think everyone's going to die. Long lines. Uh, what do we call this? Painted black. No! It's painted coffee. Hmm. Oh no, my little green arrow's gone. Put a graveyard behind it. Can I? Do I have tombstones? I have dinosaurs. That's the same thing, right? Oh, there we go. Actually, I just want to make this guy instead. I just want the skeleton. Hey, kids! Welcome to the Gravitron! <laughs> And name this, Death by Caffeine, The Churner, Express Yourself, no, Espress Yourself, I don't know, it's catchy. 
Uh, hmm. What do I call this? Shake and not stir it. Why would you shake your coffee? Beans. Yeah, just, just beans. Perfect. We already have the coffee grinder as a uh, ride name. We'll just call it coffee. I don't know. Well, I'll open it up anyway. And get Joe to clean up this barf. Jeez. The Gravicino. I like it. Sounds like an actual drink. Well, time for ad campaigns, I think. Ad campaign for the Gravicino. I think if it were called Fresh Pot, people would get the wrong idea. Did I open this? Yes, I did. Oh god. Just a straight shoot across this. So many people over there. And these handymen are painfully ineffective. Ah, uh, the haunted house is decaf. Which is worse than being out of coffee, I think. Hmm. It bugs you how the arrow points clockwise, but clicking it makes it rotate counterclockwise. I never noticed that. Huh, you're right. Wow. That is never a thing I thought about. Hmm. Let's see, what else can I make? I have a lot of money. Maybe I'll just shell out for some propaganda. Uh, free tentacles, sure. I support every man's right to have a tentacle. The rotation arrow rotates the scenery, not the camera. I like it. You have saved the day. You have solved this dilemma. So guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully I can beat this scenario. Also, this thing keeps breaking down. Kind of a pain in the butt. Let's see, I think we need more propaganda. Free rides on the coffee stained things, I don't know. That's a great name. That'll definitely pull in people. Ignore the background noise for a minute. Just gotta rearrange my desk. Alright, uh, there we go. Okay. What am I looking at? Hmm. My god, there's barf everywhere. Uh. Why, people? Why do you barf? Well, I got a green arrow, so people are coming in. Slowly but surely. And the percolator broke down, that's no good. You've forgotten how to be happy, well, hopefully I can fix you. And if I can't, coffee surely can. I think I really need to make an exit here, though. Hmm. War propaganda. Oh wait, free entry, half pr eh, whatever. Free entry into the park, despite the fact it's already free. Hmm. What else can I do? I need more money. Oh uh, no, the handymen are still in red. I do need to make them brown. I need to make everyone brown. And save. 
Raise prices, no. Never. I want more guests. I don't care if I have to wait in line or if I make less money. Actually, those seem like things I should probably address. Um, never mind. I could make a load of hedge mazes and farm money that way. Hmm. Oh, the ad campaign end. Maybe people just don't have enough hot dogs, and that's why they're not coming here. I bet that's the problem. Park is hot dog deficient. What do we call the hot dog stand? Hmm. Coffee dogs. Coffee dog. Singular. Caffeine tubes o' meat. That sounds horrible. Caffeine canines. Bean dogs. Dog hot stall. Liquid meat, double express dog. These all sound really horrible and not at all appetizing. <laughs> Caffeinated enriched meat tubes. Oh yeah, no, that'll be... Caffeinated enriched meat tubes. Will that fit? Yeah. Great, we have a winner. Nobody wins with caffeinated and rich meat tubes. Just makes me want to vomit. Now I can't blame all the people barfing in my park. Well, it's raining. People are buying my disgustingly overpriced $20 umbrellas. Time to take all that money and make an ad campaign. And off it goes. Hmm. What are the trending topics on Twitter? Do I dare look? When I'm bored, Rick Tatorship. I'm talking dead. And the rest are a bunch of celebrities I've never heard of. Oops, I'm dropping my phone everywhere. Uh, the objective is 1,400 people by year three. I've got about half that in just about half the time. So that's actually pretty good so far. Nothing horribly wrong has occurred in the park. Not yet, anyway. Hmm. It's kind of hoping for more horrible trending topics. Oh well, whatever. I guess I need to play Roller Coaster Tycoon to make up the fact that I'm not going to have another radio show for another couple of weeks. Now I'm gonna jinx it. Eh. Bring it on, game. I'm ready for anything. Except, well, running out of coffee. Okay, let's see. That looks good, that looks good. That looks okay. Maybe I can build some more stuff. Hmm. How about a log flume? I don't know where I'm going to build this. But, um. Hmm. Log flume, log flume. Where would you go? Here? Sure. And down it goes. And then it just crashes into the water, and that's it. Oh, great. I'm broke. So, this this is the log flume. Actually, can I put a platform here? Can I just have it start in one place and end in another? 
No, no way. No, that doesn't work. Because how would the logs get back up? They don't. This is an exceptionally awful rod. It goes down, and then it goes back up. That's it. That's, that's all it does. Like almost every other rod I've ever made. And let me save. I don't think I've done that in a little while. Oh, go back. There we go. Oh, wait. Oh, that was... That was a really dumb idea, because... If I make it go high, I'm gonna have to make it go down again, because if it goes up to 20, where it needs to be, it's not going to be low enough to build supports across this. Whoops. I'm just so good at planning for the future. Alright, that's good. Must finish terrible log flume. Hmm. Come on. You're killing me here, game. Isn't your water ride just the metaphor through the experience of caffeine? Sure. That's that's beautiful and poetic. And I don't have any money. Again. Maybe if I keep clicking it, it'll come true. Or I'll just swear out my finger. The obligatory water level. You know it. I, I really don't need my own trending topic, thanks. I'm not important enough, or Justin Bieber enough, to have a trending topic. Maybe one day, I will be Justin Bieber enough to have a trending topic, but until then, I'm going to have to pass. Oh. Ran out of free tentacles, and now my finances go in the toilet. Oh, jeez, where's all this money coming from? I'm not used to that. Not used to being not a failure in this game. Um. Gravicino is broken down. That's what happens when you're in berserk mode. Everything breaks. Everything goes to hell. Just a ride that wants you dead. Oh, I don't have any money. What's up, Tim? Not much, Mick Poopy Balls. What is up with you, dare I ask? Oh. Weird. I'm really, really poor. Oh god. It's just a line of people. There, there, there is no gap in any of this. Just a straight, densely packed line of park guests and vomit. You know, I'm gonna make this exciting. I'm gonna make it go up. And get this, once it goes up, goes down. Look at that. Look at that! Man. Can't contain my excitement at that. And Log Flume is open. Now it needs a name. And there it goes. Uh, also, it needs a pathway. That's kind of important. The floating coffee bean. Oh wait, it needs to be brown. It's almost brown. 
Can I make the water brown? No, I can't. That would be glorious if I could, though. Why am I so broke? Because I'm bad at this game! As it says in my little info box thingy, I suck at games. Just a warning, because you need to lower your expectations and your standards. You know how a bunch of streamers will have rules in their chat, or in their um, info box for things to do and what not to do in the chat? Well, I've got one rule, and my rule is to lower your expectations. That's it. If you can do that, we'll get along just fine. Also, don't barf in my park, but that's... That's secondary, I think. Oh, wait, that's closed. I gotta make that open. Not only does it need to be open, it also has to cost five bucks. Because people will probably pay that much. Despite being able to get wet in the rain for free, they would rather pay five dollars to do it. Um, what else am I going to call this? Named after coffee. That 2.30 feeling, I like it. It's like that horrible, horrible five... Five hour... Oh, no, no, no. Five hour energy commercial with that really sleazy looking guy. Oh, man. Anybody ever drink that stuff? Five hour energies. They're kind of horribly disgusting. Also, everyone thinks it's too crowded here, so... I'm gonna spend the rest of my money making an alternate pathway across the park. Except I'm going to make it go down, and I don't know why. Oh. I'm gonna hit the car ride. In case anybody was wondering, five hour energies do work, but they taste like really, really bitter cough syrup. And they're also like four bucks a pop. I mean, they're not bad, and they certainly do what they're advertised to do. You know, it's like a nice, gentle caffeination versus the, the caffeinated equivalent of a kick to the teeth, but it's a lot of money for something that's really not that enjoyable. No, Reeser, we really don't need to get that trending. It's, it's okay. Believe me. It's like an hour per dollar. Yep. Never said it was economical. Oh no, there goes my money! Guess they're complaining about the footpaths. Well, you know what? If they didn't barf on them, there wouldn't be a problem. These guests only have themselves to blame. And now my park is going down the toilet. That's a problem. Hmm. What is going on? Must save the park. I'm losing guests, I know. I need to save the park, but I can't. I don't have any money. Think of something fast. Connect. Thank you. Okay, that should cut back on the foot traffic. Now I gotta get money. Why are you people paying five bucks to ride this? And will you pay six? Yes. Yes, you will. That 2.30 feeling was great. <laughs> Take a loan. Well, I would, but already maxed it out. I gotta get seven. I gotta get about 750 more guests in a year and change, which isn't really. Well, it's not gonna be that easy, but we will see. 
ad campaign for... I guess they're complaining about the vandalism. We'll get bent. I will fix it later. I don't have any money for any of this. Free tentacles. Sure. Whatever gets people in the door. Oh, jeez. Um. Well, there goes the park. I can't make pandas. I don't have any money. Everyone's online for this. Uh, free entry, free rides on the big drip. Sure. I don't even know which one that is. Look at their complaints. I feel sick! That's it. That's, that's all they care about. It's just at the point where I need to run a lot of propaganda and hope that saves the park. What DJ said. One of the next bathrooms should be called the coffee filter. Oh, well, maybe. Caffeine crash has broken down. Again. Ad campaign for the coffee run. I guess. Running out of stuff to put money on. Actually, running out of money altogether. Can you see the Twitch TV app chat? Uh... What? I got the Twitch TV app for Android, but it doesn't actually have chat at the moment. And... All my garbage cans are being broken. Why? What's wrong with you people? Hmm. Why am I losing so many guests? Why don't you people like me? I don't have any money for pandas, that's the issue. Also, after, uh, hopefully, I finish this scenario, I'm thinking of trying to see if I can beat another scenario with the park only with toilets. That's it. No rides, nothing else, just toilets. And I kind of think it might be possible. Oh, this broke down. Which is kind of a problem, because the exit doesn't actually connect to anything, which means the mechanic cannot get there. There we go. Now we can. You, you really don't have to tweet the thing, don't worry. Expert pathing, I thought so. Nothing short of a professional at this game. My park isn't confusing. It's just built on the edge of a dam. Makes sense to me. And hey, I'll be streaming for another few more hours, so... Yeah. Tell your friends and... Make some friends for the express purpose of telling them, and then dump them forever. Must get more people in park. Must get ad campaign. Uh. Please go to 700. Please, I need money. Must save the park. Come on. Okay, great. 800 guests, and off it goes. It's 11 p.m. Where are you going to find people that want to watch this? That's my dilemma. It's 11 p.m. here in Tim time as well. 
Hmm. I want my green arrow back. Not everyone is on spring break. Yeah, I've noticed. Oh well. I wish I can extend my, um, ad campaigns without having to wait for them to run down. Kind of a pain in the butt. Oh well. I must make Monotone Tim Hortons a success. But I need money. Oh. Got my green arrow back, so that's good. Gonna save. Alright. Well, I might be able to do this, although I still need 600 guests out of thin air. I think if I run enough propaganda, I might be able to make it. Also, did I ever, or did I ever say my chat, or not my chat, my chair is really squeaky? Because it is. I just keep hearing noises every time I shift around in it. Uh, the radio stream, I guess, has been alright. I think people listen to it. Maybe. Play some fat beats. Dog. That's what the kids say, right? Hmm. Well, I still have a green arrow, still have a little bit of income, that's pretty good. Hmm. Marketing campaign has ended. Oh man! No more free tentacles, I gotta rectify that. What's the point of having a park if you can't get out tentacles? When I can, please check Twitter. Alrighty. Uh, my girlfriend was wondering if you wanted the copy of Zoo Tycoon she has. We could send it if you like. Uh, I've never played Zoo Tycoon, actually. Everyone keeps asking me to do that. And I've never gotten around to it. Maybe, if it isn't that big of a deal to send and it doesn't cost you much money to send over. Uh, I will get back to you on that, because I'm home for spring break, and if it were to be sent here, I probably wouldn't be able to receive it. Don't spend any money on my behalf, guys. Just watch the stream. That's all you need to do. And then we're best buddies. Best internet broskies. Hmm. What do I do? Gotta keep running propaganda. Gotta get about 500 more guests in this park. Are we bros? Sure. Why not, Miracle? Whoever you are. Can you buy a football manager for me? Uh, no. I... no, no, nothing with managing in it ever again. Tim is my wife, sure. Why not? Ad campaign for the park, please. Guests are complaining about the vandalism of my park. Yeah, well. The enemy is amongst yourselves. Figure it out. How's it going? What's the goal? Um, going alright. The goal is 1,400 people in a year. And... I need to run more propaganda or else that doesn't happen. If there were a game called Coffee Manager, would you play it? I would play the hell out of that, you know I would. That would probably be really boring to anybody who isn't me. Come on, ten bucks. Alright. I have never streamed Call of Duty.
not like I've got anything against it, might actually be kind of fun to play. Although not the multiplayer, I never really got into that. You know what multiplayer shooting game I used to play a lot? I used to play a lot of America's Army, which was not a very good game, but it was free and paid for by my tax dollars, so I kind of felt like I needed to play it. Eke out every possible benefit of being an American taxpayer. Getting my free Army Simulator games, which is essentially just a recruitment tool. And I can't say it was that effective, because every time I would be in a squad and we'd be in a building, people on my team would um, throw their grenades, uh, throw them in such a way where they would arc, hit the top of the door frame in the building we were in, ricochet back, and blow up half the team. And if that's supposed to make me want to join the army, I can't say it was really that effective. Ad campaign, go! Oh man, that parachute training mission. I know exactly what you mean. And I don't remember how to beat that. I think you need to deploy the parachute like right before you're about to land, but... This has been... Five or six years since I played it. I was like 13 at the time, so... Now, a little bit later. I think I was 14. I think I only remember that because I applied to be in some dumb America's Army clan and I said I was 14 and everybody made fun of me and that they didn't let me in and I cried myself to sleep. Well, no, I didn't do that last part. Uh, I have not had a computer with America's Army on it in quite some time. I don't even know if it's still a game that's, you know, something that people play anymore. Can I name the next ride? Oops, I pooped. Well, why would I ever... Oh, forget it. Marketing campaign for the Big Drip has ended. Oh, let's get one on the Loka Mocha. And as you can see, the secret to life and everything in general is propaganda. Solve all your problems that way. Hmm. Let's see, check in the phone, check in the tweets, nothing. Let's see, what is on the news? It has nothing to do with coasters. Mitt Romney wins Puerto Rico. I already knew that was going to happen. Eh, nothing really. Hey, almost a thousand guests. That's pretty good. How's Rick Santorum doing? I don't know. Let's find out. Mitt Romney. Whoops. Rick San... Rich? No. Rick Santorum. Who else? Newt Gingrich. Gingrich with an H. And... Ron Paul. And they're off. Bachman. No, Bachman's been out of the race for a while. And not to get too political up in here, but she was a nutcase. Oh my god. I almost kind of feel bad that she ended up dropping out just because it was really, really interesting to see what she had to say. What about Obama? Well, he's not in the Republican primary. because he's kind of a Democrat, and also the incumbent. He is a guy 
There are many guys, Jason. Hmm. Almost a thousand guests. And the caffeine crash breaks down every other day. And let me save. So, chat, what's up? If anything. I've already said that quite a few times. Not much to do at the moment, aside from farming money and running ad campaigns. Because I'm kind of afraid to do anything else for fear of losing. Also, my chair is really loud! <laughs> Why does it keep doing that? Uh, somebody tweeted at me. Tweet says... No problem, can send it for free. Message me on Twitch for details. Alrighty. Thank you for the offer. Hey, I got over a thousand guests. That's pretty good. Will you ever see another segment in the Charlie Party Race thing? Probably not. But maybe. Maybe. I really don't know where I'm going to take that story. My biggest problem with the story is that there really isn't a story. I don't know what's happening in that video at all. Uh, I'd link it in the chat, but I'm kind of preoccupied, and I think you've all already seen it. Rick Santorum has bought a hot dog. Alrighty. Why don't you even put them in the game? What was I trying to accomplish? What if you write me a screenplay? Oh yeah, let's make Charlie race the... No, Party Race the Charlie Chronicles a major motion picture. Mitt Romney's on coffee stain things. I don't know. Hmm. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, the park is still running. Hasn't blown up yet. I'm sure it will if you give it time, but... Still seems to be okay. The balloons aren't poop, there's... Er... Eh, let me try that again. The balloons aren't poop, they're coffee. There's a difference. I... I promise you. If not... Oh god, what have I been drinking? My ad campaign for that 2.30 feeling has ended. It only shows that if you close the window, though. Oh no, it hasn't. Never mind. I'm already giving away free tentacles. I'm giving them away as fast as I can. How's the caffeine crash? I'm probably broken. Go away, Ron Paul. Well, Ron Paul's in line for it. No, it isn't broken, actually. Weird. Yeah, I can't afford that much on this. Maybe I'll just do 400. Click. There we go. 300 more guests. Must save the park. Why did I start streaming? For charity. With uh, extra lives. And then I just kept doing it because it was fun. So, there are far too many people here. Why are there so many people online? It's too crowded here. Yeah, well, you know what? Fine. I'll fix this. Oh, great. That guy just fell onto that queue line somehow. Somehow, this one little connecting piece fixes everything. Or ruins the flow of traffic forever. Probably that second one. Closed Firefox and it took a full minute to stop hearing Tim. Well, doesn't sound like a bad thing to me. 
I'm actually kind of surprised you guys haven't gotten tired of listening to me yet. I am not even talking about this game at all. Rick Santorum has bought a drink. Free tentacles. Put pathways in the water. There's nothing even there. And this park is just this little piece and this little piece. All this space I have is essentially unused because I'm lazy. Hmm. Well, that's still horribly crowded. Gotta keep getting more guests. Must get 1400 or else. Also, later than Joshi S.O. As long as you don't start talking about shoe shopping, I'm cool. Oh. I... I don't think I will. Can't say that's a thing I do. Ooh, 3D cinema. I haven't bought a pair of shoes in about two years. Where do I put the 3D cinema? Uh, here? Yeah, let's just throw it out in the middle of the ocean. Oh no! I mean too high for supports, it's fine. Why can't I put the movie theater out in the middle of the ocean? What's your problem, game? This makes perfect sense. Alright, how about that? Come on. Oh, man. So it'll work, I just don't have enough money. Hmm. Oh, we'll get there eventually. Is that really porn, or is that just the chat telling me that's porn? Oh. Nope. That is false porn. That is fake pornography. Cannot have that. Hmm. Let me just load it up on my phone so I can look at the chat. And just double check. There we go. Movie theater out in the ocean. That wasn't a dumb idea. Oh, jeez. Shut up, me. There we go. I know I sound like a dweeb. I don't need to hear it. Oh, no, don't run an ad either. Stop. Kind of unnecessary. Must finish pathway. Come on. Come on, no! Oh, there we go. Why did I build the exit first? Why didn't I build the entrance? So I can get people in here. Now they're just all going to walk down here. I don't think it's porn, but it's probably just some spammy thing. And I should probably get into the habit of giving people time out versus banning them, but it's so satisfying. Oh, no, actually, that was a real link I should have spammed, or, uh, gotten rid of. Hurrah, I made a good call for once. Every so often, indiscriminately banning people actually works. Go figure. There we go. And the 3D cinema is open. Except I don't know what to call it. Why is my website down? It shouldn't be. Maybe you're down. What do we call the 3D cinema? And why is my park rating on the decline? Why are my guests on the decline? Oh man, everything's on the decline. I gotta build more pandas. 
a set of mocha. Squeaky chair. Um, wonders of coffee. Starbucks. Cappuccino. Oh, God. <laughs> That's a great name for something. Cappuccino. Mouse tail, storm chaser, space raiders. I need to close the building so I can change the film and open it up five seconds later. Space raiders. The coffee bean experience. It's funny because coffee. All right, fine. Three D. Kappa Chino. It is not brown. You raise a very valid point. There, now it's beautiful. Looks like a giant brown soccer ball. How's my park rating? It sucks. I need more... ad campaigns. Ad campaign for the 3D Cappuccino. 800 bucks, because that's all I can afford. Hmm. Rick Santorum has left the park. I want to go home. It's too crowded here. Urgh. Rick Santorum smash. What's the entrance fee? Nothing. Tis free. Uh, free rides on... Sure, whatever. Now the number is going down. That's not good. Oh, jeez. Guests are complaining. Oh, oh god. This is not going to go very well. Must save the park. Must sweep all this barf. Sweep that barf, come on. Sweep it like you mean it. Hmm, come on. Well, the park rating went up a little bit. How long does this scenario last? At the end of year three, so I gotta get my button to high gear or else I'm going to lose. Free entry it's already free, but whatever. You can have coupons that say it's free, so you feel special. Hmm. Alright, park rating is going back up a little bit. A lot of overcrowding, but... Oh well, I'm gonna charge more money for this because I can. And then pop this balloon. Ah. Hate things that bring... Eh. Hate things that bring people joy. Must get rid of all the balloons. Like this guy. Ah. Our balloon is dead. Now you have to buy a new one. Oh no, not new game. That's bad. Save game, I mean. Yes. Hmm. Newt Gingrich has left Gravicino. Well then. Oh, that 230 feeling broke down. That was the log flume. I forgot. There's a massive line on that thing. I need 300 more people. And then I am done. I hope. And then I can make a park and see if I can beat it entirely with restrooms. Uh, let up on the links in the chat for a bit, guys. They take up a lot of space. Hmm. 
must finish. Coffee Park. Mitt Romney has left the caffeine crash. Hmm. I want to build things, but I need all the money for ad campaigns. The big drip has broken down. Oh, that's the spiral slide. Big deal. How do you break a slide? I mean, it, it doesn't do anything. It, it doesn't move. It just sits there. We, we really don't need a trending topic, guys. Believe me. Just simply watching the stream is more than enough, believe me. I already said believe me. Well, believe me, I'm totally serious. Repeated for emphasis and not for the point that I can't speak English very well. Whoops. Uh, anyway, let me save this. Park rating, 664. I can't figure out if I'm anywhere near finishing this. Because I don't know if the park rating is going to go back down. It might, because it's... Hmm... Why can't I fix you, theme park? Thought you said we'd be together forever. But no, you just barfed all over that promise. Barfed all over it and then broke my garbage can. More free tentacles go. Guests are complaining about the state of pathways. Well, too bad. You make the mess, you clean it up. Got my two handymen working overtime to clean up all of this puke. I mean, you'd think they would just lean over the railing and barf into the reservoir, but they don't. They just go on the pathway so they can walk through it. Also, I love that the space rings are broken down, because it seems like... Because these glorified hula hoops have broken, these people cannot get out. They're just stuck, contorted, in these random positions. Kind of hilarious and tragic, and wow, it's a lot of barf. All right, well the rating's going up a little bit, so that's okay. Build benches. You know what? Fine. Maybe I will. I'll show you. I'm gonna have benches everywhere. get an award for Park with the Most Benches, which is almost as prestigious as Park with the Most Vomit. Almost. Benches. Benches. Advertising campaign for 3D Cappuccino has ended. Not anymore. Oh, that 230 feeling instead of 3D Cappuccino. Oh well, same thing. Uh, what's on with the chat? Bikini? Because bikinis are basically underwear. It's offensive. What? No, it isn't. I 
it's too many benches. No, it's not enough benches. Die balloon. Die duck. I can't drown Mitt Romney. This chat's about, or the stream's about horrible roller coasters, not subtle political commentary. Well, now I take that back, but we already had the uh, chance to do that when we had them all in the Sims household, and then they all died, except for Rick Santorum, who then died later, alone and afraid and surrounded by puddles of urine. Oh, Jesus. 608. Oh, God. Um, that's... Oh, that's not good. Uh, park rating is on the decline. Guests are not going up as fast as they ought to be. Uh, please don't lose. That would be bad. I would shame the internet. Ron Paul is... Why? Why is his rating going down? Alright, you know what? Save this. Take out all the stops. It's... It's time for pandas. I don't have that much money, so maybe only 25. And if this doesn't save the day, well... I don't know. I probably do need to redo all of the pathing, but... That involves effort. Pandas do not. Pandas are actually the secret police. And 25. And with any luck, this will save the park. We will see. Uh, did that help? Actually, yes, it, it did. 657 went up by right about 50. Though, this is still going down. That's really, really bad. It's June, so I have July, August, um, September, and October. So I've got five more months to get 300 more guests, and I don't know where that's going to come from. Also, station brakes failure. That means... Actually, no, we're okay. Normally that would mean things would crash, but there's nothing currently at the station, so it might be alright. More propaganda, come on! Look at the rating, it's going sky high! Just need more people in here. Why don't they count the number of pandas in the park population? That would make my life so much easier. And again, after we're done with this scenario, hopefully we beat it, um, I will then try to beat the first scenario in the game with only toilets. I, I feel like toilets should be able to do anything. Actually, I don't even know if that's possible, but we're going to find out, because somebody needs to test that. Bathroom Quest 2K12. Probably will throw another mention of that up on Twitter. Why not? If I'm not there to shamelessly self-promote, who is? Hello, Zeus Almighty Eleven. Welcome to my park themed after coffee. And... Everything is breaking, and everyone is barfing, and every other guest is a panda. Stop breaking! Oh god, how many rides do I have that are broken? Three. Oh, good, green arrow. Okay, thank god. The day is saved. 
All my ad campaigns are running out, but... Change the color of the grass to dirt so it's brown. Oh, man. I don't have that much money. I need to spend all my money on propaganda. Look at that. Look at that park rating. Look what the pandas did. That's fantastic. Just goes to show that pandas fix everything. Pandas save the day! As usual. Look at this panda. He's out for blood. As he walks through these people, he is just absorbing their souls. Also, why do people keep walking out of this? Really? You know what they're doing? These people are standing in line, and they're waiting in line for a long time. Then they get fed up, and they leave, because they've been waiting in line for a long time. And then, right when they're about to be next in line, they go back in line. So they go from the front of the line to the back of the line, because they got fed up with waiting. Alright, then. Whatever. Now the line is filling up with people who were just online a minute ago. Yeah, they just love waiting in lines. They're only at that attraction to wait in that line. Once it's their turn to actually get on the ride, well, they're really not that interested. I've been saving like a madman tonight. Yes, the line is the ride. The log flume is there just for scenery. Clean up that barf. And the panda walks right through all that puke. That's... Uh... Oh god! Why is everything breaking? Everything is going to hell. Although I do have a green arrow, so hopefully I will get the 1,400 guests I need. Also, uh, anybody who's watching, thank you for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Hope you like poorly planned out theme parks and uh, senseless rambling. If so, you've come to the right place. I think my park rating is plateaued. Probably need more pandas. Hmm. Is People of Walmart still a site that's updated? I used to see stuff about it, and then I totally forgot it existed until today. You just mentioned it. Uh, I would make some golf, but I don't have any golf. That is not an option. And I'm kind of afraid to touch anything. Just trying to milk the rest of my money so I can get some more propaganda. And now that it's raining, I'm gonna get 20 bucks per umbrella because people keep buying those things. Every umbrella you see is 20 bucks in my pocket. And essentially pure profit. And let me save again. I keep forgetting to save. Oh, no, I don't. I keep actually saving over and over. Why is nobody in line for this? Is it raining? Is that the reason? I want to get off the caffeine crash. Yeah, me too, brother. The answer's called drinking more coffee. Two hundred more guests. Well, not quite. Just about like 185 at the moment. Fix the coffee grinder. It's he's trying. My mechanic is working as hard as he can. He's just one man, and I'm too lazy to hire more. Hmm. 
Uh, Jason, don't put anything up on the Facebook page yet because I still have to confirm that. Oh man, marketing campaign for free tentacles has ended. Darn. What is my park without tentacles? Get more mechanics. No! If I get more mechanics, then I have to name them. I'm not good at naming. Hmm. Must save the park. We're so close. Less than 170 guests to go. Need 1,400 in total at our coffee-themed theme park, Monotone Tim Hortons. A place that I've never actually been to. I've heard good things about them, though. I'm just not Canadian, so... Never went to a Tim Hortons. Uh, we already have a 3D cinema called 3D Cappuccino, instead of the mechanic being Cappuccino. Oh, come on! More guests, please! We're so close! So damn close! Maybe I'll make a new ride, I'll make a new... this. It'll go up and down. I'll build it on top of the car ride. Oh, my ad campaign finished. I gotta bring that back. Mitt Romney is in diuretic dreams. Ew. Great. That looks like a fantastic ride. Probably one of the best ones I've ever built. 40 miles an hour? Sure. Sounds good. Not at all deadly, right? Oh. A little bit too close. I'll cut it back. Just because this scenario is going to come down to the wire and I don't want to lose at the 11th hour. Count the metaphors in that sentence. There should be three. Or two. Two, I think. What is counting? Uh, exit, where are you gonna go? In fact, let's just put the exit right there. Right there. No, right right there? No. Okay, let's let's not put the exit there at all. Let's just I don't know. Let's run out of money before we finish the exit. Excitement? Fine, whatever. Open it up despite it not having an exit that connects to anything. Alright guys, what do we call this thing? This thing that goes up and down and then takes your money. Needs a name. Haven't gotten to it yet. It's gotta be coffee themed, as that is the theme of the park. I'm running out of money, which isn't very good for anybody. 150 guests or less. Why does nobody want to ride this? Too expensive? Oh, more thrilling than that. Yeah. Caffeine high. I think we already have a caffeine high ride. Must finish. Dumb footpath. Oh man. I can't get this to connect to anything. Come on. You're killing me here. So close to 1400. So very, very close. Oh, that's not gonna connect, is it? Why are all these people falling through the pathway? What? What just happened? That's what they get for walking on a blinking pathway anyway. That's their fault. They should know better. There, finally. That connects. And... This looks terrible. 
I can't see anything through this. It's just a stream of little colored dots. Javalanche. I like it. Let's do it. Javalanche. It's a great name. Why do I not have green arrow? Oh, okay. There we go. This game knows my thoughts. Hide supports. Uh... That'll look really awful, but sure. It's just people. It's like... It's, it's like a 3D ant farm. With all the little channels, and these are the ants running through them all. You know, and you don't know which one connects to what. It's just like a giant MC Escher painting. Just messes with your eyes. I can't tell where anything is or what anything connects to, but apparently it works. That's all that I care about. Okay, 70 more guests to go. Almost there. And XSplit tells me there are 413 viewers, which is kind of cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Why are so many people online? To watch a movie in the middle of the ocean. Actually, no, that already answered my own question. I think I would probably do the same. Um, can I put fountains in here? I think you can just buy a fountain. There we go. Perfect. That's not dumb at all. Now they're all in the splash zone of my movie theater. I might even increase the excitement a little bit. Excitement is 420. Hmm. Well, almost there. 60 more guests to go by October. Running out of ad ca- oh no! The ad campaigns are dying. This is... Oh, this is gonna be close. I don't have enough money to run all the ad campaigns again. Ron Paul has left Loca Mocha. Alright, free entry to the park for however many weeks I can afford. Four weeks, go. 59 guests, 60 guests, come on. Get more money, I wish. I wish it were that easy. Just type in, give me more money. Sell off Mitt Romney. Oh, is that my issue? You know what? This is now seven dollars. And you know, you're still gonna pay it, aren't you? Right? Oh, wait. No, wait, they are. No one's saying it's that expensive. Okay, cool. Seven bucks it is. And by 7, I mean... 15. That's... Oh, no, now they're just refusing to pay. Oh, fine, be that way. Jerks. Okay, well, people will pay 9 bucks. Um... People will pay... 9.50... To ride... This log flume, apparently. Um, alright. Sure. Whatever. And ad campaign for the park. I gotta afford more of this, but I don't have any money. Ad campaign for the big drip. And I have to do this eventually. It's August. The scenario ends October. 70 more guests go. They keep going down, which is kind of unsettling. Got this horrible sinking feeling. Hmm. No, don't go down. It's the other direction. 
Add more pandas. Now pandas got us into this problem. Now I don't have any money. I have to get an ad campaign up. Maybe I'll just delete something and do that. I'll just blow up one of the roller coasters for the sake of an ad campaign. Make a few rides free. Never! Never. Look how happy these people are. Come on, go over 700, please. Thank you. Sell the pandas. Are you crazy? Don't you talk about my pandas like that. Okay, I think I got this. Guests are going up. Things look okay. I think we're not going to lose. What do I do when I'm not gaming? Uh, college stuff and sleeping and eating and drinking coffee. And my radio show. And coffee. And time for some shameless self-promotion. Consider following the stream if you want. Or follow the Twitter if you want. That's also Monotone Tim. You can keep updated every time the stream goes live in case you, you know, are a bit of a masochist and you want to be here for every single second of my dumb internet musings. Hmm. Oh, come on, there's just 40 guests to go! 39, 38, 37! Oh, 39, 40, 41, 40, 39, 40, 39, 40, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 35, 36, 30, oh. Now it's sort of going up. Replace my broken benches. I don't have any money. I don't have any money for that, man. Well, actually, this is one of the rare occasions where I do have money. No, no more pandas. We're so close. Just under 30 guests to go. Another food joint. Eh, maybe. Anything new for my emails? No, not really. Another eBay thing saying I qualify for pay now or pay later or something through PayPal, which is something I will never use. I buy entirely too much junk off of eBay. Oh, come on. 20 guests to go. I have a green arrow. And three tentacles. Whatever. So close. Come on, Park. Don't let me down. Everything is broke. Oh, actually, no, wait. Just just one thing is broken. Never mind. That's okay. That's, that's actually pretty good. Newt Gingrich has left. The percolator. Ten more to go. Uh, Twelve more to go. You're killing me here, game. I can't can't deal with all this stress. Come on, four, five. So close. Two, I mean three. Three, two, one. Okay, 14, we're good. Um, the smart thing to do would be to block off the exit, but that would make my park rating go down the toilet. And now it is spending more time under 1400. Okay, good. 14. Stay that way. Advertising campaign ended. No, it didn't. Don't tell me that. Don't break my heart. So close. Ron Paul has left the caffeine crash. 
happy little dude there, Ron Paul. Recent thoughts are, Caffeine Crash was great, and I've already got a balloon. That's just what he thinks on a daily basis. I've got a balloon. Period. Those are my thoughts. <laughs> Almost done. It's September, year three. September 12th. We need to make it to October, and we'll be good. Also, hey, chat. What is up? If anything. I ask that every half hour, because for all I know, something dramatic happened in your lives. Which is to say, I'm running low on commentary at the moment. Did I ban that person? Did I only give him a timeout? Oh, just a timeout. Alright. I don't feel so bad, then. You had a baby. Oh, me too. Just just right now, I just got pregnant, and now I have my son just playing this game for me. Actually, that's kind of creepy. Never mind. Marketing campaign has ended. Well, I fixed that. Okay, good. No way I'm going to lose 75 guests. Can I tell you about the radio show? Um, I've got a college radio program, and I play music. I play Baroque rock and jazz. and essentially anything with a little touch of orchestration. So, you know, music, it's, it's a thing. Hmm. I want to build something, but I have to keep all my money safe in case the ad campaigns run out. That would be bad. Ah, uh, no, no current pot music. Nothing like top 40 style pot music anyway. How many listeners on average if I know? Eh, 40 to 60? Thereabouts? Would probably have more if I just had the entire radio broadcast be devoted to playing Roller Coaster Tycoon music. Because if the internet has taught me anything, it is that it really, really likes Roller Coaster Tycoon for some strange reason. Oh, 1,500 guests. Oh, 14, oh 1,500. All right. Fun fact for anybody who cares, I have, since streaming, Encoded 24 or 246,976 frames and dropped three. Ta da. Now you know. If that matters to anybody. Essentially, that means nothing broke. I think. Uh, that essentially translates to, for one second of this stream, the frame rate of the broadcast was 10% lower than it should have been. For one single second. Which means... XSplit is really, really good. Like, they improved XSplit so dramatically in the past year, it is... unbelievable. Which is why I didn't feel so bad shelling out like 50 or 60 bucks for the premium XSplit license. And you shouldn't either! Even though I don't actually get paid by them to sell their product. Oh well. 
I think everybody uses XSplit, though. It's kind of like the standard in online streaming anymore. I can't really think of what else you would use if not that. I mean, Wirecast, maybe, if you've got 400 bucks to go and... or 400 bucks to drop on something. But... I could not figure out Wirecast. And if you use a Mac, well, you just don't stream. It's as simple as that. I don't know. I don't know what you use on Macs. I used to use uh, VH Multicam, which is the old-school version of XSplit, and Flash Media Encoder. And it wasn't that good. I mean, it worked, and it was free, but it was really kind of... Jittery. I didn't like Dino. I tried it. Didn't really do what I wanted it to do. Or maybe I'm just an idiot and I didn't figure it out. I don't know. Hmm. Well, it's October year three. October 6th. Almost done. Almost done. And after this, we will try to beat a scenario using nothing but toilets. I just have to make sure the scenario that I pick actually starts out with toilets, or else that could be a bit of a problem. See if I could ruin the park before October ends. Oh man, don't tempt me, because I know exactly what I would do. This entire place right here, I would just drop out from under these people. This entire line, I would drop out and make everyone on here drown park rating would plummet, and I would lose, and everything would go to hell. And now you know. And now I don't have to do it. Hmm. Must finish scenario. Must not lose, we're so close. Let's see, I'm adjusting TV on my phone. What are the current live channels? Live channels include... Uh, maybe StarCraft, maybe StarCraft, probably StarCraft, StarCraft, Mass Effect 3, Maybe StarCraft. None of these images are actually loading on my phone for some strange reason, so I'm just going to assume everything is StarCraft. Because it probably is. The internet loves its StarCraft, but it's a game I've never played. Maybe one day. Yeah, the park rating's going down, but as long as it's above 600, it's alright. I just have to hold out for half a month. Shouldn't be too hard. Moot547 says, When I was a kid playing Roller Coaster Tycoon, I'd make square fences and put people in them and call them people zoos, and I'd force them to eat tentacles. Oh. Okay. I... good for you. Um, alrighty then. Also, I swear, if I lose 73 guests before October ends... Oh, no, wait, stop. Stop leaving! No. No, you're just not allowed to leave. Where's my no-entry sign? I'm... Park's closed. You can come in, but you can't come out. I'm not losing this scenario. The rating is going to take a dive, but... Not going to lose. I can't. I've spent three hours on this scenario. I've come so far. And this guy is hopelessly lost. On. Ten more days. Ten more days. I think my rating might stay high enough 
for just as long as I need it to stay up. I just have to keep 1,400 guests or more in the park. If that doesn't happen, well, I will be disappointed in myself. But it should probably be okay. I mean, there's only eight days left to go. How bad could it get? Die balloon. Okay, great. Green arrow. I'm gonna get rid of this now. You're free! Go home to your families. Get some tentacles. Make everything free. If there were a way to do that without having to manually do it for each ride, I would, but I don't have that much time. I guess they're still going down, but there should still be enough. Five days to go. I have to keep at least 70 guests in the park. And I will do the toilet park after this. However, after this I will need to actually go use the bathroom myself. Then I'll come back and try to do the toilet park, and we will see if that even works. I might run a commercial or two while I'm in the bathroom, if that's alright. I knew Gingrich left the park. He's kind of angry. Very thirsty. Too crowded here. I want to go home. I'm not hungry. Yeah. Oh man, 60 guests, two days. Save here just to be safe. And did we do it? Is Ron Paul still in the park? Let's find out. I don't think he is. I think he would be listed on here. No, Ron Paul is not in here. Ron Paul has left the building, and I think we just won. We just won. Just won? One. Nice. Completed the objective with a company value of negative $2,983. That sounds like a good number. Now I'm going to kill all these balloons. Make everybody buy new ones. Oh. Hello. Yeah, I'll pop them all later. Enter name? I don't know. Caffeinated Tim. That's my new stream. Okay. And now all the balloons will pop in unison. And if you give me one or two more minutes, well, after all the balloons pop, there they go. Very satisfying. Give me one minute, I'm going to go use the bathroom, run a couple of quick ads, and then we will see if we can beat a park with nothing more than toilets. Which, I don't even know if that's possible. I guess we're going to have to see. And here's a quick commercial. Thanks for watching. I'll be right back. Don't go away. We've got a bunch of other horrible things to stream later tonight.
Okay. And I'm back. Hopefully... Oh, wait. I think the chat just exploded. Um... Uh... Where'd the chat go? My client says there are 13 people in this chat. That doesn't sound right. I feel like there should be a handful more of you guys. Unless everybody just randomly left. Um... Chat? Anyone? Anybody in the chat? Uh... Oh, 15 people. That's... That's good. Uh, let me close this out. Close that, close all this Justin TV stuff. Extra network list. Go. Oh, there we go. 215. That seems about right. It was only reading. I don't know, like 12 before. Alright, let me see if I can get that to fit. Whoops, that broke everything. One second, guys. Did the chat die for anyone else, or was that just me? I noticed the Justin TV chat was acting up a little bit. Uh, that is not quite there. Hang on. Everything is broken. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Uh, yeah, refresh the page, guys, if your chat broke. Um, I think something went wrong somewhere. And let me just get the link up, and I can tweet that and be all shameless and self-promoting e er. Also, Master Peanut just started following me. Cool. I love peanuts. Uh, go to do copy the link. Okay. Can you win an or an roller coaster tycoon? No, a a roller coaster tycoon scenario with nothing but toilets? Clearly, the question on the forefront of everyone's mind. Okay, well, gotta find out and see if you can win one of these scenarios with nothing in your park but toilets and maybe maybe entertainers but mostly toilets no no rides nothing else just toilets uh... the chat is in various stages of working i think some are dying i'm not sure um, I don't know what happened to the chat. People seem to be dropping out. Occasionally it seems to be dropping me out. Which isn't good. Um, hmm. Refresh the page if you're having issues with the chat. Let's see, I want this on my phone. Oh, this is... 395,635 total views. That's... a lot. Jeez, almost at 400,000 views. Cool. Thanks, guys. Alright, anyway, we need to find out if you can beat a scenario with nothing but toilets. And if I had to guess, the easiest scenario to test that on would probably be the first one, where you more than likely have enough money to do it. And... Well, it's only an hour long, I think. I don't want to sit here for three hours just managing a bunch of toilets. That might be kind of boring. So... Anyway, let's give this a shot and see if it's possible to get 250 guests in one year with toilets. And that's it. I just gotta make sure this has toilets. Okay, great. Uh, okay. Well, let's give it a shot. Let's open up the park. Charge one dollar and ten cent or 10 cents per flush. Let's see what happens. Actually, what if you just do this? What if you make a circuit? That's just a giant circle. 
that just has toilets. How many guests do I have? None. And nobody's trying to come in either. Um, it does need an ad campaign, that's the problem. Oh man, I have to rotate every individual toilet. Unless I rotate the camera? Might be okay. Uh, the goal for this is... 250 guests in one year. Oh, it still changes them to face that way. And I want to see if you can just build toilets. And that's it. I currently have no guests, and nobody wants to come. I can't even have, uh, free access to the toilets. That's not a thing you can do in this game. Alright. Oh, wait, can I just hit exit? How do you close an open window? Anybody remember the, uh, shortcut to close an open window, by the way? Um, I used to know. It's like, alt something? It's not escape. Um, oh well, whatever. Alt F4? Yeah, maybe... No. Don't think so. Nice try, though. Backspace? Oh, thank you. It is backspace. You save the day. Let's get married. Alright. I'm gonna build a couple more toilets and see what happens. Whoops. Hit backspace too early. No. Bad toilet. You don't go there. I think this might be too many toilets. Alright, whatever. I've got toilets and no guests. Not a one. Um... Alright, we'll turn research off, because that doesn't matter. And... Open all the toilets and have an ad campaign for the park, I guess. Six weeks, let's... Let's see where this gets us. Is anybody lining up to use my toilets? Yes! Toilet Master is our very first guest. He will forever be my favorite. Also, I think I might just lock everybody out, just because I don't think it's going to be easy to get guests in, so I will just make sure they never leave. Oh man, two toilet guys. Okay, he's in. One guests. Just one guests for now. We'll get to two. Eventually. I have to get to 250. <laughs> They're not gonna do anything. You're just gonna walk around. In circles. And then eventually pee. And then walk around again. You've watched for only three minutes, and you're already following. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. Well, I got four guests, and the park rating is going up despite not having attractions. Did I charge them to use the bathrooms? Yes. Ten cents per flush. Six. Six guests. Eight guests. Look at that. How about free entry to the park? Oh god, it's... It's actually happening. I... Did not... Expect people to actually come into the park. Um... Thirteen, so... I... Uh... Okay, it... Actually... There, there might actually be something to this. The park rating goes up despite not having attractions. Almost 20 guests. There will be a time for pandas, don't you worry. We'll 
we'll get there eventually. I think I made that circle a little bit too big. Is anybody happy? No, they're just all really blasé about the situation. Except that guy. Everyone in this park is just nonplussed. All of them. Every single guy. Why do my toilets not put smiles on their faces? Well, hey, look. Someone's... Someone used this one. I think? No, I guess not. Did anybody use my toilets yet? I mean, I have 20 cents, and that means somebody used the toilet at least twice. Um... I have the sound off at the moment. Maybe I'll put my headphones on so I can hear if anybody flushes. Whoops. That's bad. On backwards. Here we go. I don't hear any flushing yet. 56 guests. Look at that. I only need 200 more. Less than that. My entrance fee is too high. Well, it doesn't seem to be making a difference. Alright, whatever. Now it's free. 60 guests with toilets. Alright. Give the toilets names. I'm afraid the park rating is going to go down. Unless I do this. Pandas, I think, are still fair game. Just no attractions, no buildings, nothing but toilets. All I need to do is get people in the park and keep them happy. That's it. So as long as I have really good toilets and lots of pandas, this should be very possible. When you hear a flush, it'll be like when the man pokes the fireplace on that Christmas channel. Oh god, the Yule Log? I... I bet you this works. I bet you we pass the scenario with nothing but toilets. I think I need more pandas, though. I'm also kind of afraid that these pandas are following these guys into the bathroom. I need more sidewalk. I think I need more pandas. Oh, wait, no. Rating's going back up. Almost 100 guests in my park of nothing but toilets. Also, everyone's really happy now. They love my toilets and my pandas. That's a winning combination. Toilets and pandas. Does anybody actually have to use the bathroom? No. Nobody. Not a single person has to use the toilet. You don't even want to check it out? Nobody? Nobody came to this park with any urge at all to use the bathroom? Alright, whatever. Well, it's working. There's 15 bathrooms. Um, 108 guests. We're almost halfway there. Which is kind of depressing. <laughs> this is working entirely too well. How much is it to enter the park? It's free. It used to cost money. Decided to make it free just to see if that would make it any easier. 
No, I'm just doing this with toilets. I'm not going to put anything else there. Just toilets. I'm going to have an ad campaign for my toilets. Free rides on the toilet? Free toilet? No? It probably would work with no buildings at all. But my buildings happen to be toilets, which makes it hilarious if you're 12 years old. Oh yeah, put boosters on the toilet. That sounds horrible. Actually, as long as I get in 250 guests, I can stop getting ad campaigns and put all my money to pandas. Hmm. What are my guests thinking? Oh, well, they're all walking. And almost half of them want to go home. Can't say that's the world's most glowing endorsement of a theme park, but gotta start somewhere. Why don't you go inside the toilets to escape the rain? It's only 10 cents. It's cheaper than an umbrella. Which is the most popular toilet? Uh, profit. None of these make any money. No customers. Popularity. Bathroom one. Popularity unknown, because nobody has had to pee yet. Nobody at all. Guess five's lost. I can't find the park exit. Oh, gee. Maybe you should go and use a toilet. The answer's actually in there. I know they need to drink to pee, but I just want to see if I can do this with purely toilets. Toilets and pandas. Only less than 100 guests to go. Oh, exactly 100. Hmm. Must get more people in the park. They're all kind of congregating around here. Hmm. Whatever happened to that one guy? Oh, there he is. Toilet Master! He's so happy. Oh, wait, no, he has to use the bathroom. Wait, they actually generate bathroom over time. It's really slow, but eventually... Eventually, every single person in the park will have an overwhelming urge to use the toilet. Build more sidewalks. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't see past those trees. Oops. That didn't do what I wanted it to. I just want to make a bunch of lines so that these don't all clump together. Oh no, wait! Ad campaign for the park! Must get more guests. And now everyone is horribly confused, and my rating is going down the toilet. Well, literally. Wait, wait, how did you escape? Oh, wait, you just never came in the park, did you? Uh-oh. Oh, this doesn't sound good. <laughs> oh, no! No, my rating! My everything. I'll just go into massive debt. I didn't... Ah, I forgot the loans. Look at all that loan money I could have taken. How did I forget all of that? Huh. 
116 pandas. 116. Did you really think it would work? Yeah, I did. It's just gonna beep at me because there's too many people who are lost. Oh no, by park rating. Pandas, you must save this. Come on, I've got a green arrow. So many pandas, my god. Almost 200 guests. I don't know if the park rating's going back up, though. I don't think it is. I think the park rating is still going down. How do you keep the guests happy when all they want to do is leave? And letting them out is not an option. Oh, this is just going to turn to constant beeping, I think. I mean, there's hardly anybody back here. Everyone's just at the entrance. Nobody wants anything to do with this. Oh, jeez. Uh, why do I have 116 pandas? Why did I think a toilet-only theme park was a good idea? It's, it's really not. To anybody wondering if they should have a theme park with only toilets, the answer's no. Not only is it no, it's hell no. This is... <laughs> well, I, I mean... No, no, the answer's still no. Even if I do have over 200 guests and 116 pandas. I don't think these last few pandas will make the park rating skyrocket back up, but... Uh, no, in fact, I'm losing all of this. Free entry to the park. I gotta get that green arrow back. Must finish pandas. Okay, there are now 205 guests and 116 pandas in this park. Uh, the park rating is not very good. Um, <laughs> has anybody used any of the toilets yet? No, no one. I think I have reached Panda Critical Mass. It's... There's nothing I can do. I mean, aside from playing the game. And that's not an option. Oh dear. I... I don't think food will help at this point. Um... What if I just bought a lot of scenery? How about... Horses. Will horses save the day? What made me think a toilet-only park would work? I've... I... I don't know. Toilets and horses might have some chance at success. There, horses. Um, almost 230 guests, though. I don't think the propaganda can convince people that they're having a good time here, which is the biggest problem. I need to keep the park rating above a certain point. And it's at zero. So... might be kinda hard. I don't think I can ever bring the park rating above zero. Because everyone wants to go home.
Okay, so getting in guests isn't a problem. It's getting the park rating to be anything, which seems to be the difficult part. Also, I'm sorry again for my very squeaky chair. I'm going to turn the sound off on this. Oh. I want to hear the guests, but I don't want to hear the beeping. I wish there were a way to turn off only one of those. Maybe there is? No, there's not. Park rating. Nothing. Oh dear. This is... Not as effective as I hoped it would have been. Does anybody have any ideas how you can have a toilet-only park, but have a park rating of more than zero? Hmm. I mean, I've got 250 guests in this park, but no rating. But if I let people out, they're all just gonna leave. Every single one of them. Like, I'll save. Toilets only. And then I'll let them out. And my rating will go up, but my guess will go down to zero. And there they go! They're out of here. Nobody wants anything to do with this. Rating three. Uh, rating five fourteen. That's pretty good. <laughs> the pandas are chasing them out. Well, there was a good idea in there somewhere. Oh, my park rating is fine. Only issue is that... I don't have any guests anymore. I was thinking of that, making a pathway so long that instead of getting lost, they would just keep walking and not complain. Uh, the toilet master did indeed leave, I'm afraid. Alright, let me load up that save. Let me try something. Um, toilets only. What if I get rid of the queue lines and just make it one giant... thing? Does that fix anything? Uh, no. No, it doesn't. The rating is still zero. anyone has any ideas, please let me know. Ideas that don't involve letting the people free. No, it's not too many pandas. Pandas are the only thing keeping the park rating from essentially going so low it breaks out of the window. Because the issue is everyone wants to leave, and I can't... The drink stand isn't going to do it. I would have to restart the level. Is, is there anything I can do with this current playthrough that doesn't involve letting people free? I mean, is there a way to increase park rating without... Um... You know, ignoring all the problems of this park? What if I close the park? Does everyone leave? I can close the park. But nobody leaves. Okay, so... I don't know what that does. What if I just put even more scenery? You think that would work? I don't know where you get that idea that everyone wants to leave. I think it's fine. Nobody wants to leave this park. I promise you. that go up? No. Answer is elephants. Hmm. Well... 
Okay, that didn't work. Walkways are the answer. Alright. Um... What have you stumbled upon? This is me trying to figure out if you can beat a roller coaster tycoon scenario with nothing but toilets. And the answer is no. Uh, the thought summary is a bunch of people saying, I want to go home. 180 of them, in fact. Oh no, that's people saying it's too crowded here. Build a ride really far away that no one can get to. I like it, Flicker Dart. That's a good idea. What if you wait until the last minute and let them in? Hmm. Make it bigger. Uh, should I just try this again from the start? Alright, I'm going to restart this scenario and see what happens. Because I think I would have to take down everything I already made. Okay, so the chat seems to think putting in more pathways is the answer, so... This is what I'm going to do. Oh man, I wish I could just get rid of all the trees. I'm just going to make a really, really long path and call it a day. Just that goes around the perimeter and then sort of spirals in. And I'll put a toilet or two along the way and see if that works. Actually, it's probably easier if I do it with this one. We. I'm going to have one toilet in the center of the maze. And that'll be that. We'll see if that works. I need to make the lines so long that people don't accumulate on them. Also, these trees. Oh, God. A scenic fence tour. Oh, man. Don't forget the loan. Oh, don't worry, I won't. Never do, believe me. The thing about toilets is that nobody will pay for them if they're more than 10 cents. Even if they have to use the bathroom really bad, I have had no luck in getting people to pay more than 10 cents for a toilet. Okay. And this is almost one lap around the perimeter. And I'm just going to skip that one part. I don't think I've ever been to a toilet where I had to pay money. Ever in my life. Whoops. Die squirrel. Alright, and lap two. What do you guys think? Do you think it's possible to do at all? The toilet only challenge? As it will be officially known. I'm not a genius, I'm just an idiot who knows to read the chat and take everyone else's ideas, more or less. I don't think a genius would come up with the idea of having a theme park with nothing but toilets. Probably. No, I don't feel like toilets affect anything, but I think just having the idea of a toilet-only run is kind of funny in my mind. And hey, I mean, if you're going to have anything in your park, you might as well have a toilet, right? Oh, wait, that's 
too far from that. That's gotta go there. Oops. And off it goes. Is this the run? Sure, why not? You can estimate the number of seconds that it would take to walk all the way around. You know, I bet you, you could have an entire theme park with nothing but hedge mazes. I think this is probably how I should play Roller Coaster Tycoon from now on. Just the horrible, dumb challenges like this. In fact, I'm actually convinced a hedge maze only park would be possible. Do I even have hedge mazes in this one? No, I don't. Alright. Would be possible, just not this one. I would have to find one that starts out with hedge mazes. Also, turn off funding because we don't need it. Oops. Not supposed to connect those. Oh man, this will be a long time. So much clicking. Click, click, click. Go, go, go. Knock down trees. I know that tree is in the way. So I'm trying to kill it. Oh, there's a couple trees left. Haven't killed all of nature. Yet. Whoops. Don't connect that there. Uh, nope. That connected. Can't have that. I have not taken the loans out yet. Actually, this is quite a bit faster now that I think about it. Okay, spin around the camera. And go. I know I'm not going to have enough money to actually... Eh, just ignore that part. To actually... Actually, no, wait, I might be able to fill in the park. It's getting pretty close now that I think about it. It's getting exponentially faster with each go-around. Only issue is that the pandas aren't going to be as effective if you are this spread out with the park population, because they tend to work best if they are in direct contact with the park guests. And with this being so impossibly diffuse, I don't think they'll really work. But I guess we'll try. I mean, we've come this far. I've spent this much time plopping down pathways and pandas and potties that, uh... I'll give everything a shot. Why not? Open the park. Oh yeah, that's right. Eh, actually, I'll open it all up at once. Almost done with this. Oh wait, that's going to hit that, and we can't have that, so... Let's just ignore that part then, and go this way. And now I think it's just a matter of making... Yeah, it's almost done then. Alright. And this is the first level, so you have a really, really generous loan, which should make doing this a lot easier. just want to open it all at the same time, so people don't burn out in the maze dramatically faster than other people. And this is almost at the end. I've said that a bunch of times now. And click everywhere. Okay. Almost out of money now. Time to get out some loans. How much do I have in loans? Oh, wow. Twice as much as I started with. 
So money shouldn't really be a problem in this one. It's actually modern art. It's a deep commentary on our consumeristic society and how continuous consumption will... Oh, I don't even know. All right, well, I can't go that way because then the pathway is going to double up, so I have to go up here. Oh, actually, I can go down one more, though. Do, 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 no. Uh, oh, man. Oh, crap. The mouse is bugging out. Almost. Oh, man. Look at that. And at the end of all of that is one single toilet. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my theme park. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, let me save this as toilets only two. Just so, in case I want to try the other one again, I will still have it. How do they leave? Well, they don't. And the park is open. And let's get some propaganda. And... Go. Let's see what happens. Oh, pandas, you're right. No entry signs might be handy, but here is guest number one, who also happens to be guest 12. Which means 11 people came up to the sign before and didn't come in because it was clo- oh my god. Why are there so many people coming in? No, what? Are the number of people who come into your park at all related to the number of... Like, the, the distance of pathing? Because that's a lot of people coming in. This is... a terrible thing I've made. Drink stand at the beginning. Oh, man. If this doesn't work, I will try your way of doing a drink stand in the beginning. I'm just worried that if I put a drink stand in the beginning, they'll go around this entire map and, um... have to pee but they won't be able to use the bathroom until the end, and then my rating will go down because everyone's just going to complain about peeing. Well, let's see if this works. I've got some good feelings about this. Uh, now I'm not going to save right now at the moment. I might save... Or no, I'm going to leave the save like this just so I can put a drink stall in the beginning if I need to. It's a very scientific study, you see. How am I going to keep them from turning around? You know, I don't think they do turn around. They will only turn around once... once bleh, slurring my words. They will only turn around once they reach the end. They will not turn around mid-path. They're just made that way. Um, actually, wait. If they want to leave the park, they might turn around, but aside from that, they're not just going to turn around randomly. And where is the first guest? Where are you? Oh, wait. I had you here the entire time. What are they thinking? Probably nothing. I've got the strangest feeling. Someone is watching me. This guy. Everyone else is a blank slate. Let's see if this works. Well, I've got just about 20% of the guests that I need, so that's a pretty good start. Um, park rating is still high enough, although not great. Kind of borderline. I might need to throw some more pandas in here to save it. 
here. Sorry again about my loud office chair. I just don't want to spend all the money on pandas because I do need to save money for ad campaigns. This should just be a thing, you know. The, the toilet challenge. If there is a way to beat this game, or at least beat the first scenario with nothing but toilets, pathways, and pandas. Also, I just realized right here, I should have built this out that way, but I didn't. Oh well, whatever. Well, the rating is kind of borderline. I'll throw a couple of pandas. Eh, yeah, screw it. I will just fill it up with pandas. Because my rating is going down. Nope. Oh, 116, for whatever reason, is the limit, so... You know, I'm just gonna have all the pandas at the end, and the pandas will walk backwards. Man, this is so tedious. <laughs> that porta potty, that one toilet, is the panda's home turf, and they will defend it to the death. No one gets through these pandas. Not a single soul. And 74 guests. That's a pretty good start. Ah, uh, yes, you have to drag and drop 116 pandas individually. The easiest way to do it is just to click on them when they're still in the box like this. Because if you click these, you have to hit the uh, little crane icon to move them. With these, actually, I could probably put them anywhere and they'll find a pathway to walk on. I don't have to put them on the path. Do, and almost halfway there on the pandas. Pandas, pandas, pandas. This is kind of horrifying. They're just growing. Oh dear. Oh wait, why is my rating not going up? Hmm. Oh well, whatever. I will get more people in here somehow. I don't think there's been man-panda communication yet, but... Soon they will collide. Control-Shift-D places all unplaced individuals? Really? control shift No, it doesn't. Nice try, though. Uh, there will be another marathon, I promise you, in June or July. And we'll have the new shiny version of Extra Lives and everything up, and it will be fantastic. But for now, we've got pandas and toilets, and that will have to do. Thanks for putting up with this, guys. It's a little bit, uh off the wall, I realize. Be free, my pandas. Godspeed. Well. Here they come. Oh, can't see him there. Rating is going down, but once these people hit the pandas, should go back up. gotta figure out how to get more people in the park. Not much else I can do at the moment. And who is in the lead? I think it's this guy. Walking really fast. Yeah, no. He is going to be the first person to run into the pandas. And for whatever reason, he wants to go home, but he doesn't decide to turn around. He just keeps going, keep trekking towards that toilet. He 
He's angry. Wants to meet some pandas. Alright, so he has another lap to go before he hits the pandas. The rating is still on its way down. Just about halfway in terms of the guests I need. Rating is still going down. I think I just said that. Hmm. Does he have to use the bathroom? Well, a little bit. And he's the first one to declare that he is lost. Oh. And now it begins. And passes by the pandas. Here they come. That's going to be the first panda. And that's going to be the first guy. Entertainer number 12 and guest number 20. I need benches and trees. Hmm. Oh man, imagine if this were a tower defense game. That would be nuts. Oh man, this guy's getting happier. Hasn't even hit a panda yet. Oh, there he goes. Just running through all of these pandas. Stops for no one. I bet by the time he's at the toilet, he will be absurdly happy. think. Is his happiness going up? Not really. Come on, pandas, work harder. Killing me here. Oh, there he goes. The panda treatment was successful. The rating is still on the decline, though. Oh, jeez. That's not good for anyone. Do you have to use the bathroom yet? No. Well, he's happy. I think the pandas from across the pathway might even impact him. I'm not sure. Well, my guests are going up. My rating is going down. I need to get the ad campaign for the park. That ran out. Does he still want to leave? Yeah, he does. But he's happy. He bears no grudge to this park. Which I guess is about the most you could hope for at this point. If I did queues, I could get a longer pathway. You're probably right. Somebody told me having queue lines is what kind of ruined it last time, so I'm just trying it now. Oh, look how happy he is. He loves this. It's like 1984. Their little panda re-education program. I don't think the issue is having drinks. I think the issue is just everyone being lost. Nobody thinks they're thirsty. They're just lost. Is the toilet free? Yes, it is. If you make it to the toilet, you deserve it. Or, uh, you deserve it. For free. Shouldn't have to pay anything. Oh, no! <laughs> what if I put a free... Here's an idea. What if I put a free map at the end? Or if I had a free map in the begin... No, wait, we don't have maps. Never mind. I was gonna say, if I had a free map, 
because the entrance isn't blocked off, they would be able to know how to get home. But we didn't invent maps yet in this park, so... Oh well. And guess 20 is out of here. Rating seems to have stalled at about 127. Hopefully as the pandas spread, they'll make everyone happier and the rating will go up. Put all the R&D into that category? Sure. Gonna run out of money. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, no, I think I might be broke. Spread the pandas, they're working on it. Well, if I make a bridge from the end to the beginning, what's going to happen is that they're all going to leave. Currently, they're not all standing at the gate. To leave, they would have to walk all the way back, which means it's possible for them to leave. Whereas the issue I had last time was that they were standing at the gate, but I had a no entry sign, so they couldn't get through. I mean, I'm hoping as the pandas spread, they make everyone happy and the rating goes back up, but I kind of think that won't happen. In fact, the rating is just going down, so... Starting to think the toilet challenge is impossible, but... I don't know. What if I just put down random bits of scenery? The dolphins. Does that make anyone happy? Do people like dolphins? <laughs> no. No, they don't. Oh, wait. That just went up a little bit. I wonder. Hmm. Oh, no, now it's going down the toilet. Maybe with infinite money there would be something I can do, but... Starting to think it's not possible. I mean, the rating goes up. A little bit, but nowhere near enough to actually pass the stage. I think I have lost. I, I don't think the panda or the uh, toilet challenge is possible. Now it's 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 over. I, I can't uh, I can't make it work. Unless anybody has any brilliant ideas, I need a rating of seven hundred <laughs> or six hundred. I'm currently at 18. Kind of far off. Dare I click this? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Alright. Looks interesting. If you complete it, I would love to play it. Oh, I saw this. I'm like, wow, my rating's 215. No, wait, it's it's 4. single digit rating. When is it going to go to zero? Now. Well, I lost. Um, hmm. I've got one more idea left, and it essentially involves getting getting, um, Maps? No. We don't have maps yet. It involves getting all 250 guests in the park really, really quickly. So there isn't enough time for the park rating to go down. Rating is currently at zero, so I don't really think it'll uh, ever come back. Wait, what did they just invent? No, I need to see this news thing. Uh, invented... Oh, great. So many people got lost. It... Oh, wait, no. 
Okay, there it is. I think. Oh, Ferris wheel. Yeah, big deal. Rating is still zero. Um. Oh, and now I'm broke. No more ad campaign until this one ends. Nothing. There's nothing left to do. Does anybody have any ideas how the how the um? I keep saying the panda challenge. How the toilet challenge can be conquered? Raise the entrance price. Oh yeah, that'll that'll make it all okay. Wait, I have an idea. I have a really dumb idea. Hang on. I've got the worst of ideas. Let me try something. Let me just wait to get 250 guests in the park, and I have something that might just ruin everything. In fact, you know what? I don't even care. Just My idea is to get rid of every pathway. It's not a good idea, but they're just... I don't even know. Does this make people happy? Just being strewn about? I wish there were a faster way to do this. But there isn't, is there? Oh no, the guy's making a break for it. Orange shirt up there by the squirrel. Oh, this will take a while. <laughs> this will take a very long while. Uh, I wouldn't click that link, by the way. No, oh, the dolphins are still there. It's still like a maze, just... not... Oh man, my thumb, or finger, whatever thing I'm hitting this button with. Well, whatever, it looks like a really shifty link, and the person who put it in the chat has already left, so I can't do anything about it now. Oh, come on! You're in a giant field, and the entrance is totally unblocked. There's even a panda right in front of it. How do you not find that? Did this do anything for the rating? I don't think it did. It's probably still at zero. went up, and now there are no pathways. <laughs> Zero. Nope. Now I just have a mess. And now no one's going to come into the park. No one's going to come into the park because there isn't a pathway there, so what I need to do is put that there to get the last 12 people and see what happens. I still have no park rating. This might as well be an empty field. Still a toilet, which nobody has ever used. Is anyone thinking about the toilet? No. No one. I can't find the park exit. Well... Oh, jeez. I just realized, these people right here are actually walled in by the dolphins. Well, aside from this one part. Now they're walled in. All these people in the middle will never go home. Because they are caged in by dolphins. 
I don't think this is how the game was made to be played. Oh, I have 250 guests now. Park's closed. Okay, we're not a park anymore. I already closed the park. Don't rate me as a park. Rate me as a social experiment instead. Kill one. I can't. There's... Oh, wait. No, I can. Gotta make it an even 250. Who's the angriest? Who has the most... Bad vibes around them. Eh, you're pretty angry. I'll go to you. He's the lucky one. Eh, well, I would probably care about killing that guy if my park rating weren't zero. Night then, Megumi Chana. Chama. Ch I can't pronounce anybody's name. Sorry. I... No. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> oh... Jeez. Um... I don't know, guys. What do you think? D do you think this is possible? And if so, how do you think one would go about it? Oh, somebody sent me a thing on Twitter. Oh, it's a spam. Never mind. Not without food and drinks. I don't think it's food and drinks. I think it's just people getting lost. I don't think it's a matter of... Hmm. Wait a minute. I have a thought. Alright, well, I think we've all agreed that will not work. But what if I had the end connect to the beginning again. I know I shot that idea down originally, but... What if they are allowed to leave? What if you can do the toilet challenge by making sure people come in at a faster rate than they leave? I wonder if that would make it possible. You know, as long as people are coming in faster than they're going, they eventually will leave. But the population should still build up fast enough. And I can't seem to build that there. Oh, there we go. Well, let's see what happens. I know they get lost before they get to the end. Oh, wait. How do I make sure that this guy leaves? Oh, no. He should leave. Never mind. I don't think if they really want to leave, they will walk back here when the entrance is right there. That would be kind of dumb, even for this game. Build up a surplus, hold them in at the last minute, and then let them go. Uh, I could try that next. Pandas, uh, later. I don't know if they help. I think the issue is that pandas just eat up too much money. I need to selectively get rid of people the moment they get lost. Oh, man. This is not going to be an easy thing to do. I thought it was just a thing that I could set and forget, but I don't think that's the case. If you add pandas, spread them out better. I would love to, but it's a pain in the butt. It's not an automatic thing. I have to place them all by hand. I need to drown the lost people. Oh, clearly. That is what my park is lacking. Actually, I have, I have one more idea. Let me try something totally unrelated. Okay. What if I just did this? Because the pandas aren't really going to be effective if they're not in contact with people. What if I just made another little circle and filled it with pandas? So... Oh, this is going to be a pain in the butt again. 
It's just so people are always in contact with the pandas. And they never get sad. And open this up. Do pandas work between levels? Uh, what do you mean by that? Aim for the middle part, don't aim for the road, alright. Yeah, they'll probably find the edge eventually. It's faster to do it this way. No, I am realizing that the pandas can only make people so happy and only improve the park rating so much, but when you only have pathways, pandas, and toilets to work with, there are only so many things you can really do to make people happier. My only idea at the moment is pandas. I've put in a map kiosk, but the issue is that we haven't invented maps yet in this playthrough. I guess I'll just do shops and stalls and max out the funding, but... I don't have an information kiosk, so I can't give people free maps. Yeah, it seems like we have not yet invented pieces of paper with lines on them. We've invented roller coasters, we've invented pandas, but uh, actually putting stuff down on paper seems to be a concept that eludes our park. That's a lot of pandas. Four guests and 116 pandas. And done. Okay. And bring on the propaganda. What if I just let them leave? Do you, do you think people would come in at a faster rate than they leave? Because that's kind of the main, you know, the, the crux of this whole thing working. Is he gonna leave? No, he's not. Okay. And... Toilets. I'll put one on each corner. Whoops, you're not the toilet button. Oh, I didn't open these yet, did I? Now I did. And I'm going to save this as Toilets Only number three. Three different attempts to solve the same problem. My chair is so loud. Add rides, but don't build pathways to them. Nah, that's kind of against the spirit of the challenge. Yeah, I think what you need to do is let people in and only lock down the population once um, once it comes down to the end of the scenario. Because I think if you start locking them out immediately, the, ra the um, rating will just go down the toilet and you won't be able to do anything about it. And also, no, I, I never have too many pandas. That is a blasphemous thing to say. Uh, later then, Captain Overkill, thanks for watching. Can anyone explain the challenge? Uh, have a theme park and be able to pass the first scenario with nothing but pathways, pandas, and toilets. That's it. No rides, no food, no attractions. I'm trying to see if this is possible. And I don't think the answer is very hopeful, but we're trying. 
also random um, uh, set pieces. Decoratory bits don't really... Uh, or no, they all work too. That's not a thing that's limited. Sorry, it's like 1.30 in the morning. I'm kind of having issues speaking. Well, let's see what happens. Got a rating of 702. Actually, let me kill a couple pandas off. Not like I really want to, but... Kill you. Oh, no, I'm saving you. I'll just kill him off at the end. Kill you. Kill you. And kill you. Okay. Let me add a couple security guards. I don't know if they count, but... Couldn't hurt. Oh, they're not endangered anymore. We found them all, and they're all here. It's just giant panda breeding grounds. Hmm. Well, I mean, we've got just about 50 people. A rating of 703. Hmm. You know, this might... I know I've said this before, but this might, this time, actually work. It's just a matter of making sure people come into the park faster than they leave. Yeah, you would think a solid wall of panda flesh would attract more people. 704. Oh yes, it is going to be more crowded. That's right. Oh wait, information kiosk. Hmm, tempting, but that would be... That would be cheating, that is not written into the rules. More pathways, I think, is probably right. Well, 61 guests, a rating of 704. Wish it stopped raining, but... I don't think they're gonna get lost like this. It's not that hard to find the entrance. Seven oh five, so... It's still going, okay? Haven't ruined this yet. Although I'm sure that day will come. And if it gets crowded, I'll just start filling in the gaps and just have a checkerboard here. Okay, 74, 75 guests, 705 rating. And now I'm broke. Thank God for loan... Eh. Actually, if I take out more money, I'm just going to pay more in interest, so I'll only take it out when I need it. You know, this... This is working. I mean, people are leaving, yeah, but people are coming in faster than they're leaving. I think? I don't know, the guest total's going down a little bit. Which is kind of worrying, but... I don't know, we'll see. We shall see. Thanks for watching, by the way, guys. I realize it is almost 1.30 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. So thanks for tuning in. I'm losing my guests. I can stop the research now. You know, you're right. I can. What are you guys thinking? This park is clean and tidy. Hmm. What if I put benches just everywhere so people, instead of walking around, would sit?
And that would mean they would have fewer reasons to pass by the exit and more time they would just spend sitting in the park. Do people even sit if they don't have food or aren't nauseous? I wonder. Maybe add some more bathrooms. Yeah, you know, you might be onto something. Maybe the issue is just not enough bathrooms. Now I had more bathrooms before. It didn't actually make a difference. These bathrooms would be really disgusting, aside from the fact that nobody uses them. These bathrooms are pristine. Not a single person has used them yet. Hmm. Yeah, these don't really do anything, I don't think. We get about 77, 76 ish guests in the park before they all leave. Hmm. Add more pathways, maybe? I don't know. What are people thinking? Park's clean. I want to go home. I'm lost. Um. Add flowers. Alrighty. I don't have jumping fountains, though, or else I would add them. Oh, wait, that's right. I'm in the red. I will have to get handymen, though, for this. Well, 85 guests. That's pretty good. It's going up. Almost at a hundred. So maybe, just maybe, there is hope for doing it this way. Yeah, I probably will need some more handymen. Or, I'll hire one of those. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'll get rid of this guy. Five security guards, 110 pandas, and one single handyman. This is kind of a mess. Um, I don't think it's working. Rating is 706. Is the stream offline? Hello? Um. Really? Uh, sorry, I don't know what happened. XSplit said it had encoded no frames, so I guess XSplit just kind of bombed out. Uh, sorry? I don't know what happened. Stream is fine, I hope so. However, my park is not... Can't seem to get more people in here. Hmm. Free entry to the park. Oh wait, that's right. Gotta get this. Add campaign for the park and free entry to the park. There we go. Cool park. Uh, I don't know. Panda Gardens might be not quite toilets only, but I'm trying. I don't know what else to do. I mean, I'm getting guests, but I'm losing them at almost the same rate. It's, it's not a matter of making a good park, it's a matter of trying to have your only attraction be toilets and seeing if you can complete the scenario. And I'm not feeling very confident about that, but a challenge is a challenge. 
and if anybody watching can figure out how to make this work, let me know. I would love to see it. I mean, the only other idea that I have is to build up a bunch of guys, build up an excess of a bunch of guys, and then kick them all, like, kick out some of them at the end. So, by the end, you can kick out a bunch of guys who are lost to make your park rating go up, but you'll still have at least 250, which is my only other idea, because I don't think this is building up enough people that I would get uh, 250 by October. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore this one. I'm gonna go back to this. Okay, so this has guests coming in. So, guests are okay here. Park rating is zero. So, if there's a way that I can take this and get the park rating to go up, we should be okay. I don't know if that's possible to make the park rating go up by 600 points. Probably not, but... This was the original attempt at the toilet challenge. It's just beeping a lot. Alright, what I think I need to do is keep all the extra people on their own little level so I can let them go whenever I need to to increase the park rating. Hang on, I just got a bunch of dumb ideas at the moment. I like how all these signs say Happy Land on them before they initially uh, change to something else later on. Okay, this is where I'm going to keep all the dudes. All these extra guys that I need to... Oh no, pandas, don't go this way. Wait, that shouldn't be there. That should be there. Okay, so uh, the challenge is just to see if you can complete the first scenario that needs 250 guests and a park rating of 600 with no attractions other than toilets and scenery and service workers. That is... The challenge, and I don't know if it's possible. Also, all the pandas are getting kind of stuck here, so... My idea is to make sure there are exactly 250 people in the park, but, um, letting out excess people, so you can keep letting people who want to leave, leave, but, um you still have the bare minimum number of guests in the park. So I'm thinking... All the pandas are, yeah. But there's 116 pandas in the park, so I'm not that worried about it. Um, oh wow, they're all in one line. That's nuts. Probably all going to complain about being crowded, too. Let's clear that up. I need to pick up just about 50 people. Oh, wait, I gotta... need to bust this down. Or put up a sign saying they can't leave. Actually, no, wait, these people are supposed to leave. Okay. Add more pathways? I'll try. Pandas. 
I just need to start bleeding the park of people that want to leave. Um, did that do anything to the rating? No. Let's see, people are complaining that it is too clean. And crowded, okay. So everyone is complaining that it's too crowded. Not that they all want to go home. Jeez, now they're just all stuck in the corner. <laughs> um, this is not how you play this game, by the way. Nope, that, that didn't do a single thing to the park rating. Hmm. It sounds like a telegraph. It kind of does. sort of lost at the moment. Have I ever played Roller Coaster Tycoon 3? I have not. Alright, maybe I'll let them out just enough so that the rating will go up, but I will still have enough guests. And there they go. Rating is still zero. Make this my ringtone. Oh, man. And... Stop it at about there. What did that do to the park rating? Nothing. Oh, my God. <laughs> How did that not didn't budge at all. I have no idea. This is probably not a salvageable file. What does it take to make the rating go back up? The one with the 705 rating and 80 people wasn't actually going anywhere, though. That's the issue. It wasn't, uh... going... at, um... any sizable rate that would have actually gotten there. Kind of plateaued at about 80. Hmm... I mean, maybe I can just bleed the park every so often to get the rating high enough, but... I mean, the amount of people that I would have to have leave the park to get a good enough rating is... kind of... a lot. I mean, I, I essentially have to let most of the people out of my park before the rating will go past 600. I mean, it's at 555 now. Might go up a little bit more. I've got just about half the people in the park that I need to be in the park. No, don't go down. Don't go down. That's bad. Hmm. And nobody wants to come... Oh, no, I guess a couple people do. Hmm. Hmm. What is happening here? Is this even possible? I I thought it might have been, but at this point, I don't know. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, the rating's going up. A little bit. I just wish I had a green arrow instead of a red one. I have to get more people in the park. Hmm. How about a park with just merry-go-rounds and bathrooms? Well, I know, or at least I'm fairly confident that you can have a park that's nothing but hedge mazes. I'm thinking bathrooms only still might be a little bit too much to ask. Because I don't think anybody has used these toilets yet. If you can manage 400 to 500 guests by September and then open up the park, that might work. Uh, maybe. I mean, I'll try. Why not? Let me see. Where are we? 256 guests. Okay. And a... Happy little green arrow. I do like how this is just cycling from people going this way. Oh, that's weird. They cycle up here, and by these three toilets, they all turn around. Like, they don't go past this toilet. Maybe if I just get rid of the toilets. What if I were to just close all the toilets? Would they keep going? No. I guess that's my current idea. I mean, just keep building up people and by the last day let them free. I can't even see this. Is there an invisible rides? Oh, yeah, they just get to this toilet and stop. That is weird. I need more pathways to spread them out. What if I get rid of these toilets? Like, the more toilets I get rid of, the more they keep going. Which makes me think, maybe if I just don't have any toilets, it'll work. Oh, wait, is that true? No, that's weird, they just... Oh, wait, there's toilets on this side, too. Yeah, they go farther and farther into the park without the toilets, so apparently having toilets is actually bad. Because now it's not going to be quite as crowded because they're actually going to move. They just hit the toilets and turn around and then they get stuck. See, now they just go. Like, now there's dramatically fewer people here. It's weird. I mean, the rating's still zero, but... Now, no one's really... complain. Oh, no one. You know, by comparison, not many people are complaining about it being crowded versus just wanting to go home. Um... Well... That did something. Where are the hedge fund hedge mazes? Uh, I don't think we have them in this scenario. Everyone is still horribly lost. Rating is still zero. I wonder if flowers will fix that. Probably not, but throw money at your problems and they eventually do go away. Build a wider walkway. I should have made that a walkway instead of flowers. Oh well. I'll build a walkway through the horses. I guess. Oops, I went the wrong way. 
There we go. And the rating is still zero. Hmm. Everyone is now back to the entrance. My current idea is to just is to just um get as many people in this park as possible as close to the end of the scenario as possible. And then let them all go and see if I can get the rating to go up higher than the number of guests going below the threshold. And yes, you're right, I still do need one bathroom. Just one. No, I, th I think it's pretty much impossible to do, but I'm trying. I mean, it just goes to show you that with enough propaganda, people will buy into anything, I guess. Although there is nobody on this pathway to come in. I wonder why. They want to partake in this fantastic... thing. Oh yeah, maybe if I played this frame by frame, it would work. That's my issue. Here's one guy. Mr. Pink Pants. I mean, if the rating is zero, it can't get any lower. You know, I can't make this any worse, really. Oh, well, probably. Well, good night then, Jason. Thanks for watching, whatever this was. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I have no words for this at this point. I do need an exit. But, um, if I let people leave, then I'm not going to have any guests. And nobody's really coming into the park anymore. Wise Kern Fool, I tried that. I essentially had a giant maze, and it didn't work. They still got lost and complained. So, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else I haven't tried. You think this is the part where I make a giant hole and fill it with water? Yeah, you're probably right. Make the giant maze smaller, but then it's not a giant maze. It's just a reasonably large maze. If I tried murder, eh. Every time I play this game, it's uh, kind of like that. Hmm. Nobody's coming into the park anymore. Oh wait, that's because these campaigns ended. Whoops. Without propaganda, how are people going to want to come? There we go. It beeps a lot. I know! But uh, thanks again, guys, for watching. Feel free to follow the stream if you want. I promise I'll actually play real games that aren't, well, just ruining this one. And um, I, I dare you to try this. If you make it work, I would be nothing short of amazed. I, I want to say it's not possible, but I feel like... Probably a way to do it.
Has anyone made it work? Not that I've seen, although I just came up with the idea today, so... Still getting people. You know, the thing I could probably do to test this theory to see if letting out a certain fraction of people would make the park rating go back up is uh, go back to that one file that I have with, what, like 4,300 people trapped in a 2x2 two two square and, um, See if I could let out half of those and see if it um, increases the park rating past zero. I mean, I'm just worried that if I do that, it's going to end up with the answer being no, and then all this time I spent on this would have been for nothing. Also, um, I have a bunch of one-way signs that directed people onto those two-by-two two set of squares, so I would have to break all those. Also, the game really, really lags if you have 4,000 people all stuck together. That's not what the game was meant to do. Hey, is the rating not zero? Nope. Hmm. Well... It's July, I'm thinking by September I can start letting people out. Just trying to build up as many excess people as possible. Before... <clears throat> excuse me. Before I open up the floodgates. Probably some sort of mathematic solution to this if you know how the game works, but... I don't. Hmm. So, this is probably not that interesting to watch, but, uh, I'll try. If anybody has anything in the chat that they want to talk about, or anything at all that would make you interested that doesn't involve not doing this challenge, let me know and I'll try to help. I don't know. I don't know if there's anything I can do to make this worth watching. I've never played Mist. Hmm. Consider following the Twitter account if you want. It's also Monotone Tim if you want to keep up to date on this thing or whatever else I do on Twitter. I don't know. It's almost 2 in the morning, and I'm on spring break, and tomorrow I have to really, really get uh, to work on all that schoolwork I have to uh, catch up on over break. And this is not any of my schoolwork. This is just horrible awfulness. And let me hire one single handyman who can fix these flowers when they all start to die because soon I'm going to run out of money and once I run out of money I will not be able to coerce any more guests into my park hey awkward zebra I love this game too, except I'm currently breaking it at the moment and not really playing it legitimately, so... One day I will play this game again and actually do a scenario without trying to beat the game in bizarre ways, but for the time being, I'm trying to see if this works, and I don't think it will, but again, I've been wasting entirely too much time on it, so... Who knows, maybe miracles can happen. It will turn into August soon, and then it will be September, and then I will try to let people out of my horrible hell of a theme park. But 
rating do I need? Uh, 600. That's what I need. I currently have zero. Why are we doing this? Ah. Because I have played this game so much legitimately on stream that I just sort of want to see if it's possible. I'm, I'm running out of things that I could potentially do that um, are new ways to beat... I don't know. Because I'm bored. That's why. more or less it. Almost 400 guests, a park rating still of zero. Hmm. keep hearing something rattling, and I don't know what that is. Oh well. well I'm trying to unboard you, but it's kind of hard when there's not much to talk about, and I know that's kind of essentially admitting that I should probably go into something else, but damn it, I just want to see if this is possible to do. It's also two in the morning, so eventually I'm probably going to have to go to bed. So I can be somewhat productive tomorrow. Look at all the guest moods. Oh, they're happy. Aside from the guys who are really tired. Because the pandas make everyone really happy. No matter how annoyed you are at how badly the system is treating you, everyone loves pandas. Um, somebody I think bought me Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, but it was on some non-Steam thing. And I went to redeem it, and it didn't work. Didn't actually show up as the game having been having been bought, so I don't have it in a form that works, so if I did, I would try it, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. Whoops. Ignore that, I'm just messing with my phone. Uh, 420 guests and counting. Park rating still of zero. Do I remember what site? It was probably like Direct to Drive or Gamers Gate or something. Something that isn't Steam. Something that I didn't have an account for originally. Also, if I run out of money any faster, I am going to not be able to get the ad campaign, which is vital to getting more guests in the park. Just fire some of the pandas. Honestly, the smartest thing that I could have done that I can't do at the moment because it's too late would have been to... So you can have pandas. You can make as many pandas as you want, even if you don't have any money. And it would have been... You know, the idea would have been um, get all the guests in the park through advertising, block off the entrance so they can't leave, and at the end, then buy the pandas. So... You don't have to keep paying for the pandas, but the pandas will take effect and, you know, you wouldn't have been paying for them for, like, six months or so. And you would have been able to, um, essentially have a lot more money to run for ad campaigns. And what I might need to end up doing is just selling all these horses. I don't think they're terribly important to the park rating, but you never know. Only 15 bucks per horse, though. It's really not worth it. You just made a discovery for this challenge, yes? What would that be? Uh, you can't sell the flowers. They cost money to delete like that. Significance of the horses were things that I thought I could put down that would increase park rating because they're pretty. Hmm. 
Park rating zero, almost 450 guests. I'm wondering if I let exactly half out, if that would work. Let me save this as toilets only four, I think, is one that I haven't saved as yet. No one has used my toilet. No one's thinking about my toilet. Why don't you think about my toilet? My toilet's thinking about you. Hmm. Well, there goes my money. There are my ad campaigns. Oh, wait, I can't delete stuff while it's paused, can I? No, I can't. It's August 25th. It's almost September. I have to essentially sell all the statues I have left because these pa these uh, pandas are eating all of my money. I just need as much money as I can possibly get at this point just so I can get the ad campaigns to run again. Is that all? Oh, wait, there's an entire row of horses right here. I wasted a bunch of money in this. Jeez. Well, that's all I can afford for an ad campaign. Just two weeks. See how many more people that brings in. If I can get maybe 10, 20 more people, that would be good. Uh, I could start selling the pathways if I really, really needed to. Because that's just about to expire. Well, we will see. Once it gets to, like, October, I'll start letting everyone loose. And we will see if that works. It probably won't, but... I've been at this long enough, I feel like I might as well just spend the extra ten minutes and see it all the way through. Uh, sorry, this is probably mind-numbingly boring. Oh well, what can you do? And now I'm broke. I will never not be broke in this scenario. Why don't your people jump over the fence? That's not even the problem. The people could just go right through the no entry sign anytime they want, but they don't. They're all slaves to authority or something. I need some background music. I can't make the entrance play music, can I? But, uh, again, shameless self-promotion. Follow the stream if you want. Follow my Twitter if you want. If you wanted any updates on whenever I stream and do horribly dumb things. Ever played Capitalism 2? I have not. I've never heard of that, if that's a game. Ever play Black and White? No, I haven't. Only one ad campaign is active. But it's still bringing in a good amount of people, so... I guess that's okay. I was giving out coupons for free entry, even though the entry is already free. Apparently that helps, from what I've seen. And I might be able to get... Oh, uh, night then. Have Melon probably pronounce that wrong. Might be able to just get 500 guests in this, and maybe if I let exactly half of them leave, might just be enough. Didn't this originally have something to do with toilets? Uh, yes. <laughs> Does the toilet make a difference? No. I don't think so. What do I think of the sequels? Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 wasn't bad, but it had a lot of really arbitrary objectives where it's like, you know, people won't ride rides with excitement between this and that. And it was kind of annoying to do. Um, and also have not played the third one. Apparently they're making one on 3DS, which personally I don't think it's gonna be very good. But also, the people between or uh, behind Roller Coaster Tycoon on Twitter followed my account, and I feel like maybe they're watching. 
So, maybe it would be the best one ever. Hehe. <laughs> maybe. Probably not. I don't want to set them free. Maybe I'll save this again. I'm just gonna wait until October, because there's still plenty amount or uh, plenty of time left until the scenario ends. Because if I let them all go prematurely, see what's going to happen is that the park rating is going to spike and then it's going to crash almost immediately after. So I want it to spike and coincide with beating the scenario in October. I don't want it to spike and then plummet and then it will um be in the garbage by the time October rolls around. I mean, I'm just wondering, what if I let out half of my guests that are complaining? Could I get it to shoot up to, you know, um, 600 park rating for just long enough that I could pass the scenario? That is my current thought, and if that doesn't work, I have no idea then. So that'll be a little while, so what do you want to talk about in the chat? Ever play the first Zoo Tycoon? I didn't play any of the Zoo Tycoon games at all. So, no, have not. And I think my ad campaign just ended because nobody's going to come to my park anymore. I don't think I'm going to get any more than 504 guests. Maybe one or two more who come in randomly, but... I have an idea that would more or less work the same way as this, but it would also involve playing this the entire time for another hour, and I don't want to be bothered. Maybe I'll try it again, but not tonight, I think. What do I think of the tester? Uh... I watched the third season for Ego Raptor, and then it got kicked off, and then I felt bad, and then I kept watching. I guess I didn't feel bad enough. And then I randomly went back and watched the second season, because I was bored. <laughs> I needed something to watch before I went to bed, and I just kept watching episodes of that every night. And it's kind of a dumb show that's just a giant infomercial, but... I don't know, the third season was kind of obnoxious because everyone was just made into caricatures or their real personalities, but the second one was enjoyable enough for what it was, I guess. You know, product placement left and right, Sony stuff, Ford stuff, Subway even was plugged a lot. Uh, no, we don't have any money. If we can get one more guest in, that'd be great. But I don't think anybody is foolish enough to come into the park at this point. Just one more person would be great. Because I can currently let out just over half of the people in the park. And I need to see if I can let them out and not let out more than, you know, 254. Because if I do that, then... I will lose, even if the park rating goes just high enough, I won't have enough people. And that would be a shame, because I've got plenty of people in the park at the moment. Has anyone ever used this toilet yet? No. No one. Not a single person has used that toilet. Not. A. One. Oh dear. You're from Jersey. I'm so sorry. Me too. Apparently the stream has 397,833 total views. That's a big number. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'm sure this is not the most interesting thing on Justin TV at the moment. What else is streaming? Oh, I'm, like, number six on the live list. Which is why people keep coming in. It's like, hey, actually playing Roller Coaster Tycoon! And then they look at this, and it's, well, no. No, you're not. You're... You're just sitting here. Oh, look, there's guest number 505. 
Unless he turns around. That would be the smart thing to do, but he's probably not going to. Nope. 505. And I don't think anyone else is going to come in here. October 4th. Let me save. And we'll see what happens. Why are there no roller coasters? Currently, I'm trying to see if we can beat the first scenario with nothing more than a bunch of pathways and a toilet. That's the current goal. I've played this game so long that uh, I'm running out of things to do to keep it fresh. And this is the only idea I had left. Oh, look, another guy. Not very bright. Not very bry. -t. Not very bright. 506 guests. Am I looking forward to SimCity 5? Uh, I hope it's good. I don't know if it will be. Really kind of hard to tell. Not sure that I trust EA that much. Honestly, I didn't like SimCity 4 that much. How am I going to get the rating up? I only need 250 people, so I'm going to let out just about half of them and see if I can get the rating to go over zero. That is my only remaining thought. If I can just let a lot of the people who want to go out and get the rating to spike up, have the month end, coincide them perfectly, and maybe, just maybe, get the rating up high enough and leave enough guests in the park so that... Oh, another guy. So that I can actually beat this. Because I've beaten so many scenarios in this game legitimately on stream. Like, all of these on stream that I'm running out of things to do with this game. I mean, if somebody wants to watch me play this legitimately, keep an eye on the stream, Twitter, whatever, and I will eventually go back to playing this and actually building coasters and making real theme parks. But, um... I just finished one of those scenarios today, and now I'm just ruining everything here. So this is October 13th. Uh, I'll give it a couple more days, and then I will let people out and see what happens to the park. I'm going to bet it's still not going to work, but we will see. Ever play SimCity 3000? Uh, yes, actually. That's the one that I grew up on. Love that one. I only have SimCity 4 and SimCity 3000, but 3000 is still, in my opinion, much better than 4. 4 had this awful tendency of crashing every hour or two, just randomly. And I felt like 3000 was kind of a lot more technical. You know, I felt like you had more controls over city ordinances and all that stuff. Whereas 4 kind of dumbed it down a bit. I thought... Although it was nice that you could actually build on slopes in SimCity 4. Having sloped land essentially be... useless in SimCity 3000 was kind of awful game design. I think I played SimCity 3000 on stream one day. I think it was over the summer, because I remember my power going out in the middle of the stream. Throw in another ticket entry thing. To an oh, I can't. Um, I can only have this one. I can't make more. Also, I don't have any money. So I can't build anything. And look, another guy. October 21st, so I'm gonna wait for it to stop raining, and then I'll let them go. And we will see. Let me save this one more time. As toilets only five. And, uh... Gotta keep a close eye on the number of people in the park. And the number of, uh... Or what the park rating is. And... Less... Or just a little bit over a week to go. There's 510. Once this guy gets in there. 510 guests in the park. 
Let me save one more time. And, well, I guess... Let's see what happens. Uh, we'll let them go and see if this will get the park rating to go high enough. And they're off. Everyone is out of here. And the park rating is not budging. Hmm. Please go up. Please go up. Come on. I'm, I'm hoping it's just delayed, that it, you know, it's actually doing something, it just isn't registering at the moment. Come on, game, you're killing me here. Really? After all of this, it stays at zero? Oh, jeez, uh, I gotta close this up eventually so I don't let more people out. Uh, what are we at? Hmm. And I'm cutting it here. Did that do anything? At all. No. No, it didn't. After all of that. Oh, jeez. How many do I need to let go? What am I doing? I... Uh... Let me load up the old save and just start letting people out and... I, I don't know what the limit is... Oh, hello. What the limit is for, um making the park rating change. Oh, thanks, Taka Garfield. I'm kind of tired at the moment, so... Not ultra lively right now. Also, this is currently crushing my spirits. I would give out more coupons, but I don't have any money. I'm, I'm kind of in the red. Kind of really in the red. On park rating, do something. Anything. How many people have to leave? Ah, oh, jeez. Maybe I have to get rid of some of the extra pathways I made. Oh, there they go. Yes, I, I know they're leaving. I, I kind of noticed I've just lost more than half of my guests in literally 45 seconds. Let's go to all these. And let the pandas roam wild. And that toilet just there. I thought the toilet was going to be an integral part of this, but no. I have let out over 350 of my guests, and it didn't do anything, did it? Is this, is this just delayed, or is it actually zero? No, no, that's actually zero. Oh, jeez, um... You know, I bet the problem is that these people who are left in the park are so dead that they pull the rating down all by themselves. It might actually register negatives and not show it. You know, you might be right. You might be right. I didn't think about that. Or maybe it's because my gardens are dead. Maybe that has been my problem this entire time. The plants died. Does debt have anything to do with the park rating? No. Oh, wait, wait, 24. Hang on. I swear, if this is because the flowers are dead, I'm going to cry. 
No, you're you're kidding. Nobody's leaving, but the rating's going up because oh no, now it's going down. No, never mind, that can't be it. No way. No way. No. Oh, it's going off. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Pause this. Oh, wait. Let's get rid of some handymen. Let's get rid of some pandas. Yes. Yes. No. This, this can't be. That. Oh, my God. Um. Okay, let's get rid of some pandas, and I'll just get a bunch of extra... Handymen, in order to just water everything. Okay. That should be enough. Oh man, I have to go through and tell them all not to mow the grass. Just, just water the plants non-stop. I mean, they're not even dead, but just water them anyway, I guess. I don't know. I really don't. Um, turn off mow grass. I wonder if mowing the grass would actually help? No, it wouldn't. No way. No way. Okay, turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off. Okay. And go. And are they gonna... Are they gonna water the plants? What are you doing? Oh, so the plants aren't dead now. But... Oh, jeez, I don't know. Then why did they die? I mean, it just rained. Why would they die in a rainstorm? Okay, now they're dying. I see it now. Alright, well, I'm gonna start letting people out and see what happens. No, this is why I'm not a psychology major. I would be no good at any sort of social experiment. You know, go to my colleagues one day. Hey, what if we lock a bunch of people up in a theme park and don't water the flowers? What would happen? And, um, I'd probably be thrown in jail. I mean, all the flowers are dying now because it's raining. Maybe it's just the tears of everyone locked in my park. And it's the salt of their tears that is killing my flower. Eh. That is killing my flowers. And let's see. I've let out as many guests as I possibly can. And the park rating did nothing. Even watered my flowers, too. And I don't think they care. Oh, well, whatever. I think I'm doomed. Right. Right. Yeah, I need to let out entirely too many people to make this work. Entirely too many. I mean, I'm gonna get below 200, and maybe it'll start going up. Not even... Didn't even budge. It just flatlined. Oh, man. Hundred seventy-seven guests. Hundred seventy-six. It's still at zero. You 
Switchblade 313, yeah, this is a great game, but not the way I'm playing it. I promise you I will play it legitimately some other time, but, uh... This is not a very great playthrough. At all. Oh, now my rating goes up, so... 125 guests, just about half of what I need to pass this level is essentially just the most amount of guests I can seem to have in the park and have a rating over zero. This is a bathroom only game. That was the idea. Just bathroom. But, um, it does not work. It is impossible to pass with only a bathroom. So far. Um. Oh, if you've ever wondered what 4,214 guests in a single 2x2 two two square look like, uh, they look like this. Also, the game is slowing down to a crawl. And I have done this so many times on stream at this point, but, you know, here are a load of guests on a single 2x2 two -two platform. And now they're all dead. Whoops. Oh, and uh, this has been at zero for the longest time. Uh, eventually, I plan on getting this to 5,000 instead of, like, 4,200. And then I'll record it and throw it up on YouTube or something. World's largest roller coaster tycoon massacre. And it pauses for a minute. Then they all die at once. Right about now. I think? There they go. <laughs> I'll save you, no! Oh. Nope. Um. Oh, of course. Ta-da! Uh, uh. A couple people died, by the way. Just a few of them. Also, watch this plummet. This is my park. Just a bunch of no-entry signs to wrangle people into that little 2x2 two two square. Bunch of handymen left. What do I have in here? Liberated North Korean, not karate panda, scrub a barf, stink annihilator, tenant of flowers, tool test. I don't even remember making these guys. Bob Dole... Baba the Builder, Fired from Home Depot, Grease at the Joints, Little Bill, that guy from last time, and Titan the Screws. This is what happens when you ask the chat to name things for you. Guess in park. Zero. What park am I most proud of? Uh... God, I haven't been playing this game since the summer, so I don't remember all the ones that I made. Maybe the North Korean park, that was fun. Where everything is red. Um, is that Bumblebee Beach? There it is. Yeah, that's our North Korean park and everything is glorious and... ...named for fantastic things. Most wonderful success coaster. The mobile oppression unit, which is the, uh, monorail. The Kim Jong Illusion. People's Astral Defense Units. Man, I forgot this thing. Trader Elimination Center is the uh, bumper cars. Glorious Vertical Enjoyment. Glorious Rationing Center. The Drink Stall. Merry Go Round Up the Traders. And then we had a bunch of people. Dangerous Foreigner, Missionary, System Doubter, Imperialist, Obnoxious Questioner, all being surrounded by the Free Thought Extractor walking around their little jail cell. Government satirist, American pig, 
What else? Nuclear scientist, Western revolutionist, socialist sympathizer, journalist, Kim Jong Il impersonator. That was a great little park. The fast and the glorious go kart track. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> glorious red army chariot. I still think the Mobile Oppression Unit is such a great name. Here's the Kim Jong Il. Oh, no, that's the Kim Corner with a park and two statues. And what is this? Capitalist re-education of fun. Which is the haunted house. Experimental botanical facility, which is this uh, empty hedge maze. This is a great park. Mary go spin and leave. <laughs> a bathroom, which is the hidden missile silo. Glorious North Korean Navy is the swinging ship. Pay no attention to this tower. It just sits there. Um, Artificial Nourishment Center is the... Um, whatever this is called. Uh, cotton Candy. And I think that was mostly it. What else did I name? Oh, the... Uh, what is this? The ice cream stall, just called You Ate Enough. Which is closed for some reason. Um, Trader Elimination Center, I already said that one. I still think The Fast and the Glorious is a great name. My god. The Merry Go Gulag. This is how I spent my summer, just streaming this. Over and over back when I had original names for everything. Although, that was mostly the chat coming up with a lot of these for me. Um, let's see. Leafy Lake? What was this supposed to be about? Oh, yes! This one. With our NAS... whatever rides. This is NAS Scam, because I originally had a NASCAR ride that was just a giant oval. Uh, I think it was over here. Oh, no, that wasn't it. Where's my NASCAR ride? Um, I think I got rid of it. I don't think I would have done that. Oh, there's... It was NAS Train instead of NASCAR. And that was NAS Train, and then we made NAS Train 2, Welcome to Speed, which launched you at a whopping 22 miles an hour. Uh, the park is called You Will Die, Turn Back Now, apparently. Um, here is NAS Maze, which is just a bunch of left turns and a maze. Here is... NAS Scam, which is just a maze that you walk into and go around forever and ever... Forever and ever, visiting the Scam Fries and the Dumps for Dimes, which is the toilet, I believe. I think it costs 10 cents. NAS Scam Part 1. What is this? Clear your schedule express because it took quite a long time to complete that circuit. This ride, nobody will ride this. Wooden up down thing too to complement the original wooden up down thing, which might have been in a different park. The budget buster, which is where I spent all my money when I first made this park. Wasted it all on this one ride. Um, I think my Dinky Park was kind of interesting. Oh, no, it was just a mess. Lackluster... Oh, yes, this one was named after just really mediocre things. Lackluster Rotation Wheel. The Foot High Club. The Log Ride, Bring Your Own Water. Audit the Ride. Ethanol Refuel Station. Colonel Error. Potatoes not included. Seven down. Fifty cent stop and go. Desk job the ride. Cycle of monotony. Bland and Jerry's. The Mehri go round. Man, I remember these. 
the steel back and forth thing. Reconstituted sweat. Nas Train 3 daily commute. Oh man. This is all I did over the summer. Just streamed this over and over and it was fantastic. What is this? The blank stare booth? Oh, it's the uh, info kiosk. And then the names got really unoriginal and I just stopped naming things entirely because it was really time consuming. Um, what was another one I did? I think Thunder Rock was a Beatles theme. Oh no, this was E3 themed, I think. Motion controller, bandwagon, the meaning of insanity, Ubisoft conference, Luigi's Mansion 2, eh. Nintendo's online strategy goes up and down. I don't actually get it. Skyrim, the exp I don't even know why I named half of these things. Oh, doodly doodly do, of course. Oh yeah, that was my merry-go-round, which I swear would explode and fly off into space. And nobody believed me. And uh, I still haven't been able to actually prove it happens, but I swear to you, the merry-go-round will shoot into space somehow. I just don't know how to make it happen. Back when I started streaming this originally, I promised everyone that um, it happened, and I never was able to make it happen on stream. Diamond Heights, I think, was a political theme park. The national debt, it goes up, and then goes down. Campaign Promises, which is just a giant loop. Dick Cheney's Wild Ride. The Thunderground Railroad. Still part of Dick Cheney's Wild Ride. Um, Barachnophilia and Barachnophobia. Or Barack, I guess it would be. Roosevelt. Yeah, Roosevelt's a Rough Riders. My god, there's puke everywhere. Freedom Fries. Um, the National Debt. What is this? The Stock Market Swirl. The Other White House. Oh, yes, this is DMV, the experience, which is ridiculously fast, and you fall out of the exit. Let's see if I can make this one go. Should be full now. I hope. Oh, this is DMV, the airlock, which I think you... Oh, this was connected to something, and then I broke it. I thought this went faster. Oh, no, I'm thinking of the National Debt Ride, which went really fast. This one, I think, broke like 100 miles an hour or something. I don't remember. What is this? Jackson's Trail of Tears? All right. Oh, Barack and Ophelia broke. Or Barack. I keep saying Barack. You almost at the end. There it goes. Oh no, wait. I was watching that. No. Oh well. Max speed was 87. Uh, we also had a hipster theme park, and I forget which one that was. Um, not that one. Not that one. These are in order. It would be... Some Alba Mountain? Yeah, this is the hipster theme park. There's a Starbucks at the end. The Vinyl Lounge. The Circular Depressive Theme. The A Top View Irony Machine, which is the balloon stall, I think. Organic Dairy Free Soy Shack. Hipster Runoff Depository. Conformist information, farmer's market potato sticks, space zombies tentacle alpha, the Indy Ground Railroad, Prius test drive, my other car is a fixie bike for the car ride. Uh, this is a dark room in motion, which is an observation deck built entirely underground, which is to say you can't see any of it. Uh, three, no, five hedge mazes in a row, entitled You Just Wouldn't Get It. 
the post-ironic coaster core coaster. And at the top of these hedge mazes is, you still don't get it. That is the Paps Blue Ribbon Depository. Thick rimmed glasses booth. Um, I think that's all of it. I remember this one was a pain in the butt. I almost lost it a couple times. Um, what else did we have? That I remember. I think Thunder Rock was the Beatles. Oh wait, no, it wasn't. I just was here. And I said the same exact thing. Here's Ivory Towers. No, this was the... No, this was the Capitalism Park. The bureaucracy go ground. The... Yeah. Bureaucracy. Can't talk. Rockefeller Rail. Oh, yeah! This was the one where I made the money farming thing. Which was kind of neat. Which is to say, people will walk around this forever and make loads of money. And you will never go broke again. I don't think I've ever made this much money and paid down my loan ever again. And once the park rating gets too low, you let them out and then they go back on the maze and do it all over again. And I've never been able to get this to be as perfectly balanced as this ever again. Every single time I try doing this, the park rating takes a dive and it's nowhere near as effective at making money as this one. So, not sure what the magic is, but uh, this is how you make a crap ton of money in Roller Coaster Tycoon. What else did I make? I think Aqua Park was like the BP Funland or something. Toxic Sewage Water World, this was the Exxon Valdez Slip and Slide. NASCAT. BP Burger Petroleum. Ebola Cola. Oh no, it was just the pollution themed park. That's what it was. The BP Getaway Train. The Great Dispersant Adventure. What was this? The BP Shareholder Experience, which is to say it goes up and then spirals down. The Global Warmer. Oh yeah, this is the one with the gigantic hedge maze, isn't it? No, it isn't. Never mind. That was a different park. Happy Toxic Fun Time, Happy Corrosive Fun Time. BP Executive Office was the toilet. Piss Poor Refreshment was also... Oh wait, no, that wasn't a toilet, that was a drink stall. Cars and Coasters, what was this? What was the theme for this one? Oh yeah, infomercials on this, uh, on this one. Dual Action Cleanse, the Big Slap Chip, because I think it was called the Wood Chip or something. The Bigger Slap Chip. The Titty Twister, which is actually a real thing. Uh... Did I already click that one? I did. I'm running out of things to show off. I should probably just go to bed. At this point, I'm just showing you things I've already done. I'm not actually playing... Um, oh yeah, this was the college-themed park. Or no, it was the bro-themed park. That's what it was. I think. The Greek tragedy. I think the park was called Kappa Kappa Kappa. It's a fraternity thing. The Merry Bro Round. Uh, this is a maze that if you enter, you will die. Uh, actually, you walk out of the exit into this thing of land, and you, uh fall out of the map. This is the college debt simulator. And uh, you just sort of die right here and you never come back and that's it. Ta-da! In case you ever want to get rid of people. That is how you do it. And I don't think it hurts your park rating either, unlike drowning them. Uh, Big Pier. What was this? Shiver me. Oh! Pirate theme, I think. Shiver me fenders. Mary go drown. Davy Jones revenge. Oh, he's kind of dead now. The barnacle buster. The crow's nest. Davy Jones a logger. Ugh. God, these are so lame. Evergreen gardens. Rate limitation device. 
the part where he kills you? Might have been playing Portal 2 at the time. Naming a coaster. Oh yeah, these took ages to name. The Last Drink Stand, Bill Cosby's Fraz Nazzle Dazzle. Another one of these where I keep promising it explodes, but it never does. Uh, monorail Tim, is this monorail? Ooh -hoo. Stair climbing simulator. Not a phallic symbol. Just that green thing. Uh, my other log is a redwood. Grandma's Buick. Because it was really slow. Can I have 2,000 guests yet? Bathroom Zero. Barbaric Panda? Alright. Which one had 56k dial-up? Uh, I want to say that was... Uh, not Funtopia, not Mega Park. I want to say Thunder Rock. No, nope, I was already here three times. Um, not one of these, not this, not this, not this. Not this... this? Yeah, this is 56k dial-up, which is to say it's a car ride that lasts for almost eight minutes straight. And took ages to build. And it was quite possibly the worst thing ever. I don't remember what the theme was on this one. Oh, internet. Themepark.com. The line rider. A series of tubes. Ha <laughs> ha, get it. The demotivation coaster. Too long, didn't ride. Tumblr. Press F5 to reload. GeoCities is the haunted house because it's old. Speedtest.net. This is really lame. Deviant Cart. That's also pretty lame. <laughs> it's just the land of horrible puns, really. That's what most of these were. Jolly Junk. I don't even remember what this was. Awful alliteration adventure. Really rowdy romp. Massive mahogany minecarts. Monorail Tim, again. Slide 3. That's the all. This is where I started getting lazy and didn't name things anymore. Funtopia? Is this the one? Oh yeah, this awful fun putt extreme where everything's a different color. Reeling in fun. Oh, this is where I had fun in all the names. The Funstrosity. Con Fun Looted. Fun. Oh, the Fun Sound Generator. Fun and Death. The Funisippi River. That doesn't even make any sense. Scurry at the Speed of Fun. Fun Lloyd Wright's House. $20 Fun Brellas. What was Mel's World again? It was. Is this the Nerd Park? Yeah, it was. Here, Periodic Table of Elements, or all of the first period, I think, just sort of in hedge mazes. The Asthma Attack, the Inertia Generator, Hydration Station, a Mobius Ride. That was a pain in the butt to make because this happened. It's just a bunch of things that just are stuck together somehow. Large Guest Collider. Golden Ratio. That was the Asthma Attack. That's still the Golden Ratio. Guaranteed No Swirlies. How many times did I play this game on stream? My god. Mega Park. Oh yeah, this one. This ride, the Death Coaster Mark V. <laughs> I think I tried to get intensity over 30, but uh, I only got it to 28.56. This is what you do when you have lots of money. You do horrible things like this. And I'm probably going to go to bed soon, because it's almost 3 in the morning. 
And I'm running out of things to do in this game because I failed the toilet challenge and I could not pass that scenario with, uh, without rides, which is kind of disappointing. Oh well. And apparently the stream is less than 2,000 views to 400,000. Cool. Also, this is kind of terrifying. Uh, maybe one day I'll play SimCity 3000 again. It has been a while. Just a walk down memory lane with some of this stuff. Like, you were kind of looking at my summer, more or less. Loops on everything. Loops and boosters. You would not ride this. I, I'm i sorry, I don't believe you. It's 100 miles an hour going from the top of the map to the bottom of the map with boosters. I don't think it can get any faster than that. Uh, no, this would kill you. Um... You know, if you could take 9 Gs, uh, maybe you could make it, but uh, I don't think this is rideable at all. And none of the turns are banked. That's by design. It's to make everything just terrible. What else did I make? Uh, what was Lightning Peaks? Was that the Beatles? Yeah, that was it. This is the Beatles Park. That was Paul McCartney, the go-kart track. Golden Spirals. Dizzy Miss Fizzy. Don't let me drown. You're gonna lose that hurl. Because it goes up and spins around really fast. An Extreme Day's Night. Oh, man. Opla 3, Opla D. The 3D Theater. Drink for yourself. Oh man, I forgot how bad these were. <laughs> Drive my car. <laughs> it won't be log. Ringo round. Here come the runs. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh man. Lucy in the sky with the diamonds across the universe. Blue Jay Way. What is this? Revolution 8. I think that might have been most of it. Sergeant Jerry's ice cream. Sergeant Salt and Pepper's fries. She's so hungry. I think that is essentially it. That was Magical Mystery Land, apparently. I did upload some of these online. Uh, all the ones without a lock I have online somewhere. Eventually, I'll put them all there. Um, what was... Katie's World? Oh! Hydro Kids, Hydro Wife. Um, this one, I think, was just internet memes. Which is where this Hydro Kids, Hydro Wife name came from. For the log flume. Epic bobsled fail. Oh, god. Um, Chocolate Train. Gravity Cat is not amused. Billy Maze here, which is a maze that goes around the perimeter of the park, and it's horrible. And no one ever finishes it, they all just want to get off. Uh, what is this? Evil Golfer Chairlift? Alright. Double Rainbow Across the Sky. Double Rainbow All the Way. It's a rainbow-colored cart. Hoo-hoo. This account is suspended because it's a suspended coaster. Ha-ha. Uh, there's a joke in there somewhere. Misleading thumbnail to ride. Let's play Need for Speed. I wonder what's for dinner, the pizza place. I'm on a boat. A boat hire. Epic meal time. Chocolate train. Evolution of Dance the Ride? Balloon Base Alpha? I don't know if you'll ever...
top Hydro Kids Hydro Wife is a name, but which seat can I take in terms of service? Uh... Oh yeah, and the uh, the staff were YouTube people: Dax Flame, Household Hacker, Philip DeFranco, and Ray William Johnson. Also, the Willet Blend guy and Kip K. And I don't think I had any. Se oh no, I did. Had the DC or the DMCA officer and the cyber police as my security guards in this one. Oh man. Um. What was Leafy Lake? Oh, this was Nascan. That was right. That was it. We already looked at that one. Millennium Mines. Oh yeah, this one. Sega the Ride. Console Wars. Spirit Tracks. Oh, this is not the one that I'm thinking of. Never mind. This is just video game themed things. Atari Jaguar the Ride. 3DO the Ride. CDI the Ride. Virtual Boy the Ride. Gizmondo the Ride. Engage the Ride. And Atari 5200 the Experience. These essentially were just really crappy systems that we made all launch in unison. Um, and they all flew off the track and blew up. And maybe I'll do that again now. Why not? Ta-da! And nobody seems to mind being rained down upon by uh, debris. What was... that was it. Dynamite Dunes. Cop out the ride. Just a circle. Merry Dyslexia round go. Big Rigs Desert Storm. Cart Sep Cart, because I just had Cartception and carts around carts everywhere. Uh, Sherry R, who wanted to go home, and then I threw in a pit which I have labeled the Pit of Shame. Dynamite Blast there, but that came with it. Pride and Prejudice, the ride. Uh, War and Peace, the ride. Titanic, 100% authentic, the swinging thing. Big Tony's waterboard experience, because we had a joke that all the park employees were Italian with names like Clean it to Trash and Mop it to Spew and Scrub it to Puke. Bang it to nails, fix it to rides, turn it to bolts, bust it to punks, catch it to crooks, pedo to bear, and scare it to kids. Big boats, a wet dumping dream. I don't even know where that came from. Um, shits and giggles. There's the toilet. Pukatron, off the or on the wall even. All the merry dyslexia around go broke. Darn. I uh, already went to the map with 56k dial up on it. How's Rainbow Valley? Did this have a thing? Reduce, reuse, ride. Oh, this was the hippie park. The drippy hippie being the uh, water slide thing. The love boat. Wildlife genocide devices or balloons. Free love, unfree umbrellas. Fresh filtered urine recycler being the drink stall. Beef byproduct. World peace. Um, George Harrison's silly fluff. <laughs> Acid monsoon. Ozone penetrator. Capitalist playhouse. Grateful Dead Memorial Speedway. Woodstock, The Ride. Stairway to... I can't remember. Scrambled Tofu. Oh, man. Uh, Thunder Rock, I think I did. Crumbly Woods. What was the gimmick of this? Oh, the iPod. The Apple Ride. The Dipod Nano, which crashed and killed people. The Eye Drop. The Click Wheel. I scramble, I park, of course. This was unoriginal. Terms of use. 
the iDrive and not the BMW thing. The iSplode, which I still promise you explodes, but nobody believes me. The iBoost. The OSX Cat Cars. Um, jailbreak app. I scream for... Oh, God, these... These are so lame. My God. Um, Evergreen Gardens, and I did that one. Three Monkeys Park, I think. Oh, Larry. Curly. And Mo, I'd imagine, right? Mo. 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 The up, down, up, down. Not a maze, really. I don't remember the theme for this. Dr. Zoom's non-exciting rockets. Oh yeah, this was the really mediocre part. Oh no, wait, no, it's a different park. High five Jesus, because they've got five G's and... Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, the obligatory waterfall. Mr. Floppykin's memorial coaster. I think that was when I played Amnesia and I had that taxidermied rabbit that I brought around all the levels and called Mr. Floppykin's. Human centrifuge. Larry. Oh, Soul Train, that's what that was. Jersey Shore. Desk of useless info. Anticip anticipation simulation, which is a mini golf course, but doesn't have any holes in it, so you just walk around and leave. And, uh, that was it for this. Eventually, it started taking a long time to, dis to um, settle on names for these rides, so I just sort of stopped naming them, and it kind of got progressively less fun doing it that way. Uh, what else? I did these. Still gotta say, North Korean Coaster is quite possibly the best ever. The Mobile Oppression Unit. Oh my god. <laughs> These names are so great. The Kim Jong Illusion. Oh man. Wiki Park was one I did a little bit later. Um, I don't remember which level that was. Was it... Canary Mines? No, this was the Oregon Trail themed park. Grueling Pace Simulator, the Dallies, 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 I don't know. Dysentery Drop. Wait, both? Oh, the Cholera Coaster, that was it. Snake River Crossing. The Broken Leg. You know, Wicked Park, you might have been on Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, which is why I'm not going to see it here. Like Magic Quarters, I don't think I named anything. Just, you know, Roller Coaster 9, Hat Fortress, you know, um, Walk of Philosophic. <laughs> oh, yes. This is a really long. Uh, this pink thing is just a giant mini golf course that you walk all the way around only to get to the very end, putt one hole, and leave. And it was called the Walk of Philosophical Fortitude. Philip CDI Extravaganza was apparently the name of the park. Uh, I just have a bunch of towers here. Oh well, whatever. Well, it's past 3 in the morning, and I think I'm going to turn the stream off so I can go and get some sleep. Finally, take these headphones off. So I can finally go get some sleep and get some work done tomorrow, of which I have a load to do on spring break for now, but that doesn't mean I don't have assignments to do for college. So... A lot of people apparently tuned in. So, uh, thank you for watching. It was nice. Consider following the stream if you want, uh, follow my Twitter account if you want. There it is. Twitter's apparently broken, so don't follow it. I don't know. Um, you know, if you want to keep an eye on any future streams, that would be the place to go. And, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with that whatever it was that I tried to accomplish in Roller Coaster Tycoon and ultimately didn't make it work. Um, I promise you future streams will actually have uh, real gameplay. 
so if you click on the stream expecting Roller Coaster Tycoon, I promise I will actually be playing the game legitimately. Um, will I be streaming more this week? Probably not, but I'm not sure. Uh, I gotta see how much time I have. I have papers to write, exams to study for, and a bunch of other things that aren't quite as entertaining as crashing coasters. So, I'll let you know. Keep an eye on the Twitter for news on new streams. There's the Twitter again, if you have one. Um, whoops, don't maximize that. And uh, thanks again for watching, and if you hang out in the chat for a bit, I can run a couple of ads and make, like, 25 cents or something, if you don't mind. So, um... Thanks again, and I'll see you at the next stream, whenever that is, and hope to see you there, and, um, hope I made some of you guys want to go play Roller Coaster Tycoon again, because if it weren't 3 a.m., I would probably go back and do another scenario. So, I'm kind of bad at turning the stream off, so thanks again for watching, and good night, everyone.